is Freaky Friday here on the Paprika Podcast Show, and we are live here streaming to Facebook. We've got a gaggle of interesting people, and I don't know what we're going to do. We'll find out. We've got our musical our musical uh, accompaniment, and we are joined by, uh, let's see, there is me, boom. We have discovered uh, the elusive William Couch. Will Couch, welcome uh, welcome to the show for the first time uh, ever. Lean forward a little bit so we can see you, that you're not uh, an imposter. Oh, yeah, you're out of the light. Yeah, I'm there he here. is. Look, Will Couch is back, everybody. Yay, look what we found. Come towards We also have the, re- the return of Mac. There he is. What's up? And just behind him is... Oh, the horse piece. Where is she? <laughs> Boom. It's also, it's also Penny Poison. Hello. In the studio, and as always, it wouldn't be Satanic Studios without Demon Slayer Gothens. Where are you at? Let's get that switch. That's the bath mats. That's not you. The bath mats. Keep there my feet warm out for the shower. <laughs> There's the goth cam. There you are. You're on oh, there. Oh, hi, y'all. Uh, happy, uh, it's a hi, everybody. freaky veteran's day. Hey. It's Satanish. <laughs> That's right. We're celebrating. Yeah, we're here with a freaky non veteran, Max Steve. Uh, he gets he gets accused of being a veteran a lot, so we brought him on to talk about prosthetics. Um, Cause I have a prosthetic horse cock that I identify as having, and uh, <laughs> we'd have a lot to talk about. You could our struggles uh, between you know having such a big cock, and you know he's got a horse cock as well, so and missing a leg. All right. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Here you are. There's Mac. Uh, Mag, Mag, the man with the amazing story. Uh, we, I, it was only a couple of days ago, so I haven't got a chance to. Go. Oh shit, dude! I never saw your other oh, foot. I didn't show my foot now because it's Freaky Friday. Whoa, See Freaky like Friday! The, Give us some music for that, Bob like, Matt. The bath mat. Foot music. See like the scar. Go. You can, All right. You can see my Achilles tendon actually, and then they did a uh, Whoa. skin graft right here. That was just one big wound. Yeah, you can see they took it from my thigh. But, but, see, but that gets really cold. Dude, Max Steve's foot. Yeah, I haven't seen the other one. Yeah, I, I would show you my other one, but they burned it up like a bunch of sons of bitches. They burned what? They burned it up. I, that's, I think so, because it was oh, the, necrotic. And, oh, the what they got, they took off of your foot. Well, I know they burned that up, too. And Where I, they burned? I was pissed because I wanted them to give it to me so I could go and drop them off <laughs> where I wanted to, because I at least a snowboard, so I wanted to put them in who the needs, Who needs a Zippy video monitor when I've got this, <laughs> this dude? I'm self-produced. <laughs> We're so self-produced. Well no, no, no. The cameraman is Gothens. Bing! Satana Studios. Hello. There he is. Yeah, and we got this whole cool space, which I like. Cameras on me now, dude. It's my camera, bro. Okay, we have this whole like giant space now that we can. There's so much room for activities, isn't there? Isn't there a world couch? We do jumping jacks. What's that? I, I just say it was huge in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's enormous. Jump, this is sort of. I think this was sort of. Uh, J- Gothens and I's original idea for Satanic Studios. I think this is probably your your vision. Right, dude. Like, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not on my. Oh, I Don't put your camera in your pocket. You it's, see, that's the habit. That's the. Yeah, that, that's what the tripod is for. So that's just. I'm getting an extra phone. That's for this. right. Just pick the tripod up and, and do spins next time. Okay. There we well, go. There's. And now, we gotta right, get the camera to come back. Uh, uh, Jason's eye awareness and uh, uh, <laughs> part of the show. <laughs> Am I on now? What's uh, um, oh, we now we're on. We're still waiting to come up. You turned it off, put it in your pocket. So now, I mean, oh, maybe I gotta, I gotta restart the app. Yeah, you gotta have Sorry, the app everybody. on. That's all right. I blew it. Sacrifice. I don't you to say it. talk about whatever you're talking about. The saga. We should have um, a. We should have a bath mats cam. Will you? You of is ironically you are the darkest person on camera right now. Or you're pretty white. Huh? Just, the, just the lighting. Oh, <laughs> just, okay. I don't know if you need to slide up. Cause look at of all camera. the people in the whole room, Will Couch is the only one who looks like he's actually kicking it with Satan. Yeah, we're still <laughs> still working on the light. We, You know, we so, renew our vows every once in a while. Might be, so. You might have to do that one, actually, to get him somewhere. Yeah, uh, wouldn't that? You're, right. In this. You're right. 
What in the effing heck? Uh, oh, dude, that looks like some Tim Burton shit right there. That camera you just put up. Mm. It's the back of people's heads. Dude, dude, oh, yeah, that's a lot better. That's wild. That looks like the inside of a sandworm's stomach. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot this thing. Yeah, all right, we'll count. Okay, 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 okay. Which sandworm? Uh, Dune, Tremors, uh... What what was the uh Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Are you sure? Beetlejuice. 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 Like, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm just making sure. Yeah, Baphomets, Baphomets, yeah, yeah, Baphomets. Oh my god, there he is! Oh, Baphomets, oh, Baphomets Camp! Whoa! Baphomets. Extreme Macup! Whoa! That was a little much. That's all right. We can dial it back. It's freaking Friday. This is this is the show. First, a blood vessel in my brain doing that, and I'll be dead. I can sit right beside you now, and I can come in and out and figure out. You have your own camera. Touch his thigh too when you do that. Okay. That makes everybody. That's his knee. Extreme thigh cam. Extreme twerk cam. Dude, you've got a thigh. You've got a meaty butt for a skinny. Thigh jungle gym, scientists. man. A meaty? Really? Yeah, you guys That's the problem is when I get in shape, I lose my butt. Yeah, well, yeah. See, you're I out of shape not. because you, you got a work butt on right now. You got to work on it. You, gotta do you, got, some, you got some ham I've hocks. been going to the gym two times a day. You yeah, have, but you've just been hanging out. I'm getting up to three. You've you just been hanging out. All right, so we got the goth camp. Oh, well, now you moved it, but when it had, like, the ceiling on it, that's over. Where is it? Right here. It's right there. See? Oh, right there. Well, this is super lit. Like the lighting, the lighting is a problem. There's a light that's blasting. It was pretty dope when you had it. Uh, it was pretty dope when you had it because we catching the ceiling to get too. Will in there. This right? room so you turn looks and now, so now, now weird. Will, now Will looks like a, a, a secret witness in you know unsolved mysteries. Yeah, he really does. Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't tell we're you not, that I'm undercover now. Yeah, we're hiding that's, why, that's why. That's why I'm back in town. Will, Will, give it. Act like you are, because you you are like blacked out, like your voice is being disguised. Okay, we're we're we are here with insider and whistleblower. Uh, kill Welch. What what happened? What it did happen in Area 51? Uh, well. <laughs> What um, happened in that Wuhan lab? Well, the, the good thing is that uh, aliens stick to a free range adrenochrome, so th th really they're trying uh, to take us in a better direction. So, so it's organic. Yeah, that's important. Well, it's better to harvest those free running children. There's nothing worse than GMO necrome for the adrenochrome. <laughs> G the BPD chrome. I don't know. Guys, uh, I was just listening to the Roger Rogan experience, and he was had Randall Carlson and Graham Hancock back on, and these guys are they just have a Netflix series that they put out where all of their crazy cataclysmic theories are going they're going mainstream. What's it, what's it called? It's undeniable. I, I forget, but it's the Graham Hancock Randall Carlson. It's on Netflix, and I think it just is about to or just came out. Yeah, like, you know, mainstream archaeologists are now admitting that, like, oh, so, okay, so in Turkey they found a cave that's big enough to fit a city of 50,000 people. And so you're talking about human civilizations at, at least 50 to 20,000 years older than uh, the industri uh, the agricultural revolution. You know, with this subject matter, you being all blacked out like you're in the FBI protection plan, yeah, actually still kind of works. <laughs> so then you we can't reveal the identity of this whistleblower because the government will kill him. He'll be killed by the Egyptologists. We don't, we don't <laughs> he'll be, want, he'll, they'll don't cram want him in a sarcophagus. <laughs> no, uh, it's, they're representatives of the British Museum. They're oh, just yeah, pretending right. to uh, be native uh, Egyptians. Yeah, that's right. They eat English cucumbers. <laughs> I, I, I was told I was told to pick up an English cucumber from the store, and I was like, "What is it? What makes it an English cucumber?" So I just took a photograph of cucumbers and I photoshopped like bad teeth, some huh? captions. Yeah, they had messed up teeth. He's like, "Oi, gov, nah, it's a couple of cucumbers." Like, cucumbers. I thought it was cucumber, skinny. Is that very British. I'm very clever. Uh, that's my thing. Uh, that's clever, Dave. That's like, oh shit, here comes clever Dave. That's who they call me. That's my. That's my. Clever <laughs> Dave. Yeah, clever Dave. You know, just keep saying it, and eventually it'll catch on. I mean, that's yeah. what the government does. 
This the, the white now, 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 now the, the camera you're doing now the, that white shot looks cool because look we have the ceiling we have a goat boy yeah and we have, have we can see all of us dude Bobby I hope Bobby Batten actually does come in because he is it's looking dope in here he, huh yeah dude it's starting to look really cool I'm gonna keep and now that more, more shit ah oh, Will's back in the dark I know it's cool, I know man. what the hell well, we that, gotta hold on look, I got it, it's just super it's you. super appropriate that Will's in the dark because all his the stuff that he because he's privy to all this wacky stuff that we're all oh, we talking don't want about him, will take but him he's out. very obviously the CIA whistleblower we have to protect his identity we don't want him taken out. We need to give you an effect on your we'll voice. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Bobby, I, I gave, I sent him the address, and uh, hopefully he comes by. In fact, I've got to I'll check my phone just to see, because I would love to see what he has to say about all this stuff. Because I don't know if he listens to all the same podcasts as us. Bobby's a very cool guy. He dresses very well. He, was, uh, he, he dresses were, very well. Oh. Um, at twelve thirty, concert knows a little bit. Of... Oh, I need a bulb. It's the only one other thing I need. Mean. Give but me the colored good, bulb. It's, it's good to start one at a time. Though. You don't want to yep. have all the problems that you have to conquer. Just the bulb, and then after the bulb, we can move on to the rest. Okay. Oh, let's not get boring over here. I'm just looking for a light. Uh, uh, we're gonna get Will. You guys, you guys talk soon. amongst okay. yourselves. There's a Will. There's a way. All right. That well, the way. Uh, we caught a glimpse of his face. He's gonna get put in a sarcophagus now. It's sarcophagus time. Sarcophagus. Okay, that's the next video DIY sarcophagus. What is that? <laughs> we should have some sort of system where it lights up so someone knows when their camera is on. There. Ooh, man, now he's going to play be, with different colors, whatever color you want to be. Oh, he can be whatever color. That's that's how we defeat They're racism. We just give them. everyone one of these lights that they wear. And then when they when they say it's, you know, because you're this color, they just change their color. That's how we defeat racism, I'm telling you. You just have the light shining on you because right now you're yellow and then just change it accordingly when somebody's being, you know, because of your color. Well, I've been drinking too much. That's that's the reason why I'm yellow. <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> yeah, bathroom metal. I'm you're playing some. Totally uh, seen that where somebody jumped off sound effects. from. Oh yeah, the amount of like warehouses and places that, that like I've worked where you just look in their eyes and they're fucking. And they I mean, smell like they died. Like not not yeah, still you know, like you this protection. Well, no, the like lights you above his head. It's not his face. You need light well, on his that face. That's gonna be more towards the other one. My only thing has been that Will Couch is, has a secret identity. One? You think I have one? That's good. Mm -hmm. Stick to more creepy stuff. We're going crazy. like we did before. Like, oh. All right, that, that's right. too loud. Yeah, a little. If you turn it down a little bit, you can just do like a sense stuff through the whole time. Yeah, put it back on the stand. Let's see. Oh, I like that candy cane pipe. Uh, the Sherlock style? That's dope. Okay, it, that looks like... You can't break it either. Yeah. It's a plastic. It's like American flagging. When, well, for for uh, Veterans Day, right? For the Carmont that didn't know at first because it's Will, another... Will, are you're, you're, you were actually uh, uh, in the service, right? Uh, yeah, well, I was a fuck-up at 19, so I don't really want to take credit for it. Okay. Well, you are... The, does that make you the most patriotic person in the room? Huh? Uh, does that make you know, you were the only one who's actually been I'm anarchist, so I don't believe in nation states, so I guess patriotism doesn't really factor into that. You're making Will darker by putting that light behind him. I and I'm what he said, what he said, you know, people would say it was dark enough or something. You just want everyone to be like you, Gotham. <laughs> then then that's, that's good enough. All right, you could put it over Let's there. Oh, but there we go. To your left. Oh, to your left. Yeah. To your left. Freaky Friday. Oh, give me the Freaky Friday music, Bath Mats. See, that's got it. Okay, that's. Oh, you could put it behind David. Freaky Friday. Now it feels like we're on stage, but. And, and I, Bath Mats. Now we're like, supposed to be performing now, so now I feel like just starting to jerk off. 
<laughs> Perfect. We got to All right. Okay. Performance. You Lights do that on. before you perform. Oh, yeah, though. that's true. Because right. you got to clear your mind. Yeah. Hey, Will Couch, there he is. I had no idea who you were for a while. Well, the performance is jerking know. off. Uh, Will Couch, where the hell have you been, man? We haven't seen you in like a year. Uh, I was in Colorado. Uh, I don't know. Just decided to try to go back to school, and then I'm like, uh, where were you? I, at? Well, I wanted to. I wanted to go back to school for soil science over at uh, uh, the Fort Collins University, and I'm like. It's a sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. I'd have to get a master's degree just to get the job, and I'm like, you can work your way up within five years. You don't have much money anywhere, what? so yeah. fuck oh, going to college. Right. That was actually <laughs> kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, like, <laughs> no college has uh, turned into uh, I think it's a giant scam, right? To get you in debt, bad. and then you have to, and because it's not student well, loans I don't think are it's not necessarily ever. ever uh, well, there's learning you can learn, but there's a lot of <coughs> things that you don't need, right? When I went to college, yeah. like all these generals that you have to take that keep professors and departments there because they wouldn't necessarily be there, which... I think the I biggest like the problem with learning, college but, is just that it's, it, 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 it's impossible to function as a professor anymore because it's all switched over to adjunct professors, and there's so few tenure tracks that it's impossible uh, for most academics to... Uh, uh, to survive, which is why you have so many people switching over to YouTube. Uh, it like that influencer market has even hey. taken the place of academia, where like after revolu the revolution failed in the 1960s and 70s, all of the radicals went into college. But now co you can't get a, a career through college, so no, they're all turning to no becoming in, uh, like activist influencers. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, <clears throat> when I went to college, I had I had one professor that. Well, I had a few professors that were pretty good. I went, to, but but it does seem like I, the problem with professors was that they spend all their time in school they don't like get out and do shit a lot of the times right it's like a shortage of real world experience but also like you were saying it's going to cost you all this money to you know do the soil what soilology uh well, soil science soil science so yeah and what soil kind of what pay do you get when you're doing that some of these jobs that require a phd or whatever don't necessarily you would pay, be, don't pay yeah. fair. You would just be a like, bureaucrat for the FDA, you like know, making like 50 grand. to 80. Yeah. yeah like I mean, that, decent so. benefits because yeah. it's the government, but, you know, not great pay. You're not for all that you have to do to get that pay. You're in, but well, you're going to do, you're gonna you do gotta what you want to do. you got to get the do. degree, you know, and on top of that, oftentimes you also have to uh, be willing to, to get down on your knees for just <laughs> No, but, you know, but, but to, uh, you have to be able to <laughs> afford uh to uh, have an internship for a few years so oh, yeah so no pay, pay no yeah. money or very limited pay low, low like so uh sub living standards pay so i'm like uh you know there are or there are nonprofit organizations you can volunteer at and gain the same knowledge so uh you know why why spend the money when i can gain the same knowledge from people by actually doing the work <coughs> volunteering and giving of myself right well that's what i'm saying like the real world experience is a lot more valuable than book book experience if you because it's application and uh, the, also you're right about the influencer thing i mean because that's what people are <coughs> doing now i mean that that's where you're getting because i was thinking about like okay so i'm watching this podcast with randall carlson and graham hancock they're doing research doing cutting edge stuff in a sec they're doing cutting edge stuff <clears throat> and people say oh you just got that information from a podcast no i listened to scientists talk for three hours like if you went to nyu and listened to the same people talk you would talk shit about how smart you are but if you listen to a podcast where you have the exact same guys breaking down the exact same stuff in an environment where they're not under pressure and they don't have an agenda, they're just saying, look, this is the information, this is what I have. And or, have be, or a lot of times it'll be people like us who it's like, you know, they have their own sense of humor. So when they read a book and they like, they break down, you know, they do a yeah. podcast and they break it down. They, they throw in their own kind of personality with it that makes it more digestible than just a lecture. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you're casual and when you you're actually connecting with people more, you're not just ramming information into your head. Which is why I always thought that comedy was the best form of communication. And this is my my evidence of that. Think of the best teacher you ever had. 
they probably made you laugh mm -hmm. and you probably did okay in that class right mm -hmm. that's a good that's usually the ingredients well, 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 and oh, my it's, favorite teacher. It's, it's important for the teacher to believe in you because if you have a <clears throat> bigger authority who puts faith in you then you have faith in yourself and it, you're you succeed more often yeah yeah and, and the other thing too I mean just on the the technical level like if you're laughing as a result of information that someone is handing to you but they're presenting it in an entertaining way it's internalized better and there is like a respect of truth that comes with comedy mm -hmm. where if you they're all comedy like the guy who made the fuck around and find out he checked it better thing he's probably a great teacher you know we, there's, there's no fight. gothens camp by no, the way there's no gothens camera right yeah. see when i was when i was teaching that was i used a lot of comedy okay. and i would actually teach cuz i taught anatomy at UNR and then i went over to Truckee Meadows community college and i they would my classes were actually more difficult because I'd only give exams. I'd count off for spelling and all this shit where the other teachers would give three exams, 10 quizzes. The quizzes, they'd give you 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 questions. You'd get to choose which 10 you get to answer mm -hmm. from a word bank. So if you don't get 10 of those 15 quizzes perfect, you're, you're fucking trying not to. Right. Right. And then all the others, there's a carb on the, uh, on the, there's a little tiny carb on the top um, left side. Oh, okay. On the, the thumb, like I'll fucking find next, it. next to the bowl. I'm, I'm a survivor. Oh, right. Um, but I would actually teach them, like, and then I'd use mnemonics and things. So, like, you got to make them funny, like the one I thought of. But it was oh, oh, like your spinal nerves. There's twelve of your cranial nerves. It's oh, 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 to touch and feel Dickie's glistening vagina at home. Yeah. And then I made up one like oh, we need one for the women now. So oh, oh, oh to taste and fillet Victor's gargantuan vessel at home. You know, so I like, and then they remember that shit. It's or, um, optic, ocular motor, well, all, you know, trigeminal, that's all the different nerves, but they remember, but it's like, I couldn't have probably done those, that teaching, like if I was teaching in Utah, but I was teaching at UNR and Reno and stuff, so yeah. you could do different shit like that. Mac, you've been in medical school twice. No, right? I wasn't in medical school. Well, I was You're in, a, I was in nursing you're school and I was in cryo for prostatics and orthotics. Okay, but you've had to you've had to memorize a lot of anatomy. Yeah, well, that's the problem when people get stuck with memorizing. That's the whole thing. What school has gone over instead yeah. of problem solving and understanding. Because the thing with anatomy that I would always nail down, and this is like a lot of things, is understanding the terminology. Because people don't understand the term anatomy is all just the terminology. Yeah. Like brachiocephalic artery, this is my favorite example. Because you learn the areas of the body, mm -hmm. this is your brachial region, this is your cephalic region, an artery goes away from the heart, so it's the main vessel that takes blood away from the heart and it goes to your arm. Okay. Down. So that, you know, it tells you what it does. So you understand <coughs> the different sections, you understand that brachial means this, you can approach it and be like, okay, what is this no, no, no. artery doing? And you can well, put it together, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but it, everything's like that. I don't think enough people. Any type you know of science, I mean? there's like it's as soon all as you language. understand all the language of it, then you can you can do the more. It, it, if it's going to be the background, people just get stuck in this. But memorizing just angle it down it and they don't understand or, or it, so then they don't it, really understand. You know I mean, they. I don't know. Try, I'll tell that's you. just that. You know, there were so many tests. Like the other word, the kid would just you know what I mean. They just rush study, and I can pick enough for these answers that are there. You know what I mean? To sort it, but I'd make them, and I'd tell them, okay, how are you going to remember the answers? Go home and write out each thing ten times, and your body physically does it, and you mentally see it, and then you write it out and say it each time, and you'll just physically get that process in your head, so it's automatic. You know, you just condition yourself to spell it right. Yeah, and but that's, that's true with your, everything. Yeah, like, it, like if you, you just got to do it. Yeah. If you meet someone and you're bad at remembering names, I, just say it a couple and times. I've been to spelling time. their names. Somebody it's, told me that the other day when I meet somebody, yeah. I ask them their name and then I ask them to spell it, and I spell it, and once I've spelled their name, I remember it so much better. What you right. pointed at the ceiling? And it is. It's all about right. taking. The focus <clears throat> to pay attention because I know I mean, a long time. I, I feel like mnemonic. I'm bad with names. Well, you let yourself. I've let myself just not remember. That, that's like, I didn't make fine. it a fucking per right. point. You know what I mean? To make sure I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, I listen. I'm bad with names, so <laughs> it's just a fucking cop out bullshit. You know what I mean? But we do it forever, and it's not like intentional. I, like mnemonic devices, I think are really good. With mnemonic devices being where like you memorize the planets, right? My very educated mother just served us nine pizza pies. 
Right. Or in music theory. Or like, uh, way too many we did people. this in high school. Like way too many. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I'm not well, what's but, your, what's your, I have another one that well, you Well, for go. biology, they had us uh, memorize uh, from kingdom all the way down to species. So the one I came up with was uh, kids playing chess on freeways. Uh, um, always get squashed. Yeah. Uh, so wait, this way, uh, it'll work for Cal Kingdom, Chandler. phylum, uh, that one, that class, one there, like doing uh, that. order, family, family. Um, God's um, God uh, genus, back. species. That would help for you too. So I mean, that's something I came up with myself all the way back in high school, but I still remember it. Yeah. In music theory, my friend Matt Seal came up with the one to memorize the circle of fifths because Frank. Can Jigolos dance while eating biscuits? F sharp, C sharp, <laughs> and th that's how I that's how I pass that music theory class. Like I've I've taken a lot of classes and done very mediocre in music classes. Like in, when I was taking guitar in college, I would just try to stall my instructor the entire time and get him. He's really into coding. He's into computers, so I get him talking about Java and shit. And then we'd like burn the whole class. I wouldn't have to perform my goofy classical stuff. And uh, that's how I got through music theory. And he just gave me a B. <laughs> <clears throat> that was actually a classical guitar class. I have like college credits in classical guitar. Can play almost no class. I can, I can fake it a little bit. You know what I mean? But, but I, I you know think you get some game. flamenco in you. Well, I, I yeah. can. I'm, I'm an ear musician. I always have been. You know, I just never. And my dad's the you're opposite. A cauliflower ear. Yeah, I've got a cauliflower ear musician. Yeah, you're, my, you're just... My dad is a uh, is He's the really opposite. He's like a, a sight read. He has no creativity at all to speak of, but he can sight. He just sight reads and does Beethoven and shit, mm -hmm. you know. But I never really, I never really identified with that. I always liked music. Like I love the grunge, the grunge era, and I love punk rock and stuff like that because the whole point was to like put your soul into it and as little technical ability as possible. Not the grunge stuff so much. I mean, there's a lot of harmonies, but there's it's it's really way more about the vibe than it is about anything technical, you know. Yeah, but that like being said, a lot of the a lot of the early punk bands that we really that we do remember uh, did have a lot of musicality that uh, we they just chose to underplay it. What do you mean, well, like Fugazi and the Descendants and stuff, where they're like well, they cared you know, about shit or, like the or uh, Misfits? Uh, Misfit, well, Misfits was known for being the first real like have real like pop type melodies in punk rock, right? I mean, they were really It was almost level. like proto rockabilly in a sense. Okay, or, that makes or, sense. Oh, like horror billy. Yeah, and, and well, and rockabilly is a direct descendant of, of basic like folk and bluegrass type yeah. stuff. Yeah, and they just, uh, and that's about as bare bones as it gets. I mean, bluegrass is kind of some of the original punk music. If you really listen to some of that bluegrass, they go hard. They go really hard, some of those guys. And, you know, especially when you consider, you know, the, the way folk music uh, <laughs> supported the labor movement in the 30s and 40s, you know, and how punk music so arose uh, around the time of the decline of the American standard of living in the 70s. There is a lot of uh, correlation. Now, that. that's really interesting because that's something that I've always noticed. I mean, I, I've been always... I've always gravitated towards things that were interdisciplinary theories and stuff like that. Yeah. And one is how society goes through cycles and music is very much a part of that. Music is like the hat society wears as it goes through these cycles. For example, now I feel like with the internet and just everything being cracked wide open, we're sort of in the, the 70s and 80s again. Cocaine is on the rise. Everyone's dressing fucking crazy. Music is all all has a beat behind it, but then they they they're putting their own spin. There aren't really any rules. Any, there were rules for like twenty years, like in the eighties and nineties. As they, but then they and then they they kind that of fell apart. Lot, the internet do, disintegrated a lot of shit. But a lot of that started even earlier with uh, <clears throat> you know with like hip hop and trance and house music. Yeah. Um, uh, but the well, way that the, the way that the remix kind of allowed you to use music as a new inst like music itself as a new instrument yeah and you know even before uh like techno and hip-hop like that that was originally being done in jamaican dance hall right and after that it was done by With puff daddy and the jews
Is, I've never is heard that Puff what it was? I've never heard Puff Daddy and the Jews. No, that, that, <laughs> that's, that's my favorite folk band. <laughs> Puff Daddy and the Jews. That's one of my last one. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to make a reference to uh, the new Kanye West. Uh, what is it? Kanye West got himself in the in the hot water. Well, he because, was saying he was a Jew, too. Uh, well, he, those were, like, apparently text messages between him and Puff Daddy where he was saying all that, and so I, somehow I got posted or something. I don't I don't know the exact situation. I don't really care. But Kanye was going, he said something about how, basically, yeah. basically I think Listen, uh, uh, he was saying the my, Jews my, control the My take the on media. that whole Kanye thing is, like, if you're going to be a black Israelite, at least have the decency to dress up like uh, <laughs> um, a Grandmaster Flash cover band. Oh, dude, Kanye dresses up. Are you not aware of his fashion line? Yeah, Kanye but he doesn't go costumes. full black Israelite, and if you're going to start spouting it, at least look the part. I've never seen one. I assume they dress like Kanye. They don't wear Yeezys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeezys are the yarmulke of the black Israelite. It looks... It... I'm just, I'm just saying like words. I don't fa- know what I'm talking they, they, they dress like the Pharaoh's sorcerer. Okay, there you go. They're like the that Gandalf really of Egypt. Huh? That sounds very comfortable. Yeah. The sorcerer. I mean, you'd have to be like flowing robes and stuff there. Yeah. Boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to have robes if you're a sorcerer. It That's a rule. Like it helps the magic to insulate. Flow around and... Obvi. If you're, if you're, za- if you're making, if you're turning, if you're shooting lightning bolts and you're, you're turning Frodo into a, a rabbit and you're, making broomsticks grow arms and do your work for you, like, you have to have a rope. That's the only way you can undulate the, the spells correctly. Me and Will are learning to be wizards. Yeah, tell me about that, Gothans. Are okay, you... uh, me and Will have been... I have been going to the steam room, the gym, a whole lot, and doing a lot of uh, doing that. very hard exercise, just uh, starting out in planks, handstands and shit. I'm, like, monkeying all around the place now, and I'm doing, like, a lot of extreme... I've seen it. You're climbing Breathing around. T- you're climbing around in the steam room at EOS. Yes. I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it. Yeah, well, yeah I need to. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit too self conscious to fully get into it right now. <laughs> but, but he's trying. Is what I'm getting at. He's like, he's trying to get the moves down. He's like, all right, I want to learn how to move like just this. Just breathing uh, in there at the yeah, top is hard to get in shape. It's the moves that Gothens is inventing as he goes, but the, you're writing a book on the system right now. Yeah, I guess right. So. Basically, it's confidence. not like you're you're not getting your ideas from anywhere, right? I mean, except I'm just moving the and universe. Where it takes me. He's getting them from I'm the universe. Getting them from yes. I will. I will. <laughs> I, 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 off is signaling some of them to me. Dropping uh, off. I got just dropping off in your basket. You know, I am gonna tell t- sim- signaling a little to me. The breathing shit he does in there is retarded, though. Like, I've yeah. been in there, and I'm sitting at the bottom. I'm doing I'm DMT like, breathing inside the sauna. He's trying to breathe, and he's what like, is, a, <gasps> and it's, like... It's called uh, holotropic do breathing. Do so basically... Like, uh, it gets you high, actually. There's fire yeah. breathing. It overloads your body with oxygen. Because I used to always think you're about so to... Oh, it. I go to a Get different fucking place when I'm in there. Gotham's, what do you do? I am not in there. I am just... Have you really been hallucinating and seeing colors and all that? Tell us. Yes. About, tell us about some it's of taking some practice. He starts talking in tongues. And... There's a, there's this one. Uh, actually, I think I don't, maybe I don't know if you're joking or oh, not. Like he's, he feels great. Like I don't know how he's in there doing it Me? because he's like spiding around, and then he goes and gets more steam on there and up the top, and there's other people sitting in there. And we're all just like, all right, like. 30 more seconds. And oh, there's other there. people in it. Yeah, and he's over, like, there. he's over there, like, yeah. spying around. I just around. finished on the Olympics. And then he'll, he'll stop for a second, and he'll be like, <gasps> and he's like, God damn, how do you do that? Like, I, that seems like the, it's most the most torturous exhausting. thing ever. And then It's the most exhausting thing I've ever And then done. he comes out, and I'm like, how are you not passing the fuck out? I don't know how you are staying conscious is the whole thing. Because it, it'll overflow <clears throat> with that oxygen and heat and everything. You, you get super... Hot, like you get a body high because I did it with them outside of the steam room, which was hard enough, and you get that tingling. Right, it feels, it feels great, you know. Like, yeah, I, it's something that I've been having to practice, and then practice doing it in the steam room too, because that's not easy. <laughs> to, it's not easy to not pass it's not out. Easy just to be in the steam room for that. One. And uh, yeah, I'll do, and I'll start that like after 15 minutes of working out in there, and. Uh, 
it, it'll take me to another place. It's like if you do it anyways, you can <laughs> you can start to kind of zone into another place. And then he little jacks off like, at the end. That's his form of uh, you know autoerotic yep. asphyxiation. He just steam rooms it up and breathes into it. Instead I'm of coming back, Matt. And then at the end, it, I, oh. I do have some <laughs> only fans pl OF plans. I can't say that. Uh, uh, only plans. Only plans. Only plans. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Some breathing and jerking. And, uh, and yeah, there'll, be titties, there. there'll be titties there. So. I paid well, I pay $7 have, dollars a month for that. Let, yeah, it's $6. Subscribe to my only plans. To my only plans. It's $6.66. Actually, it's free. I can't advertise them. They'll just shut us down. And His OnlyFans is anyways. free only for this week. Get it while it's don't, hot. It's He's finally 18. <laughs> And we'll not, watch his porn. He doesn't the fuck I'm talking about. It's called prominent dick, prominent dick Prince. He the did. Yeah, was my the own. hamster finally came out of his bubble. Yeah, finally. And the hamster, I mean, and his going. name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> what did you do with that blunt? Uh, William? Yeah, there I saw it somewhere. I swear I saw one. Oh, um, shit from uh oh. Yeah, I was gonna say if anybody here should be all blacked out, it should be Gotham's. So his lighting is actually. Oh, I'm gonna out. Will Couch doing a Same hatchet kata. It is Freaky Friday. Okay. Do that breathing video and okay. close out the video. Do you want to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. So, yeah, cool. So you guys are gonna do some. Uh, this is not reading. it, by the way. This is I found a blunt wrap. That looks like a, a cat turd. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks like a. That looks like a hairball. They can't call it. Where did I put it? I'm starting to think you uh, magician to my weed. You'd be like, what's his, what's his name? Todd. I left it on the ground. The cubes. Who? What? I. I, I Oh, the, uh, what is it? The, did you ever watch the lead? Yeah, Aaron, yeah, yeah. yeah. Taco, when he, they call oh, yeah, yeah. the yeah. because it was just so poorly done. He's like, yeah, I joined Al Qaeda. Really it, was the last, it was the worst Front, June like, of my life. Like frontal don't stand like. <laughs> That's right. This is where we can get real. Uh, we can get. We can all go rogies on our weird. Which, show. I talked to Ralph about getting back on here too, saying uh, we'll call do a segment called. Uh, uh, penny high, poison, high, penny poison, penny poison. Penny penny something. Poison. High time with Ralph is coming. Are you talking up. about Totello? Yes, high yeah. time with Ralph, where him maybe being him and his brother, I guess. Uh, yeah. Just, just hey, it's high time this or high time that. And he'll be like, like it's high. high time somebody put their foot down about blank. So I'm gonna start doing different five to fifteen minute segments with different people and different guests. Rad. We, oh, you know, you know what you need to do. Soon. You need to start doing. Um, well, those Instagram videos you're doing are really funny, where you'll throw some one-liners over a, a wacky picture. Yeah, that, that content. That content is good. Your little, your little. Uh, where you just got, you run a line or whatever. I've got Gotham's the dumb philosopher. That's one of them, and then I've got uh, Dark Thoughts by Jack Dick. Perfect. Which is, good. Which is That's like, great, yeah. which I got that from, I got that from Deep Deep Thoughts oh, by yeah. Jack Handy on yeah. SNL. Right, right. I that so I'm just trying to do the same thing, like in a meme form with my face. But Deep I'm wanting to do some videos with it too. Well, like you're, mean, you, you, you don't mean, like, mean you don't thoughts. like going on stage and doing comedy. Mean but I think through I like social media, comedy. yeah, through social media, you can do these tiny yeah. skits that yeah. really are a lot more your pace. That way you don't, you know, if you, there's no anxiety. There's no time it's limit just your, where you have to Yeah, it's in. just your When writing, I just sit down it, and mess with the tools, I'm like, I'll just start well, yeah, with just my Yeah, and you don't meat. have to sit around for three hours just so you can get five minutes and put up with a bunch of people you can't stand. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you got, unless you're like, uh, like our friend Paul, who's like, I really prefer it when they don't laugh because then I can listen to my own genius better. <laughs> Not a, it's paraphrased, but that? at least half of it is exactly a quote. Paul Farrell is a friend of ours who does comedy as well, and he's a unique thinker who has his own uh, take on stuff. As a uh, person on the spectrum, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, but I, I can't diagnose people. Hey, we, he sent me one a great video <clears throat> of uh, him doing Yuri from John Malkovich's character from uh, Rounders. Hey, it's the Penny Poison oh, Cat. Yeah. Where's Penny? Oh, it's the Poison Cat. Oh, it's the Poison Cat. <coughs> Give me 
me a second. I gotta edit this. You guys were boring me, so I showed them someone with titties. Titties. I'm like, look, if they're gonna talk about that, is they show titty person. I would be like, if it's, if there's ever a lull, I'd be like, just just show us your boobs. But then I think we might get pulled. I don't Absolutely. know. Absolutely. That's so silly. That's what we need. That's what we need. Right, first Listen, of all, that's what I got a great for. Too. I agree with you guys. Me too. Instagram tried to give me a free credit, and then because it's spoke, tried to give oh. me a free credit. And I was like, all right, I'll promote my no, it's just on my fitness one. There's no you. It's just Penny. It doesn't matter. There okay. You want there is no there you, you, I. We're all the same. Remember, you gotta ask Jim Carrey. There is no Jim Carrey. There is there, no there I is, and Jim. There is no Mac. Well, uh, yeah, no I mean, Mac, that's there, there, is, there is, there is only what is. Yeah. I know I sound like a mix between Kamala Harris and, <laughs> and, and Jim Carrey, so I'm saying the same thing. There is only, only is what there is, but it only is that that is. You didn't until you laughed like well, that. Well, first of all, uh, like yeah, I did laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Cam- oh, Kamala man. Harris is the Terminator yeah. robot, but she took a sociology course. <laughs> like I never she's wanted a, to get uh, a woman, but for she some does reason, have, my she, body she, wants. She's to Robocop, face, but and like, like, I won't go near her because I. You know, Robo get there anyways, but I would just involuntarily punch her in the face because it just it's a and I, I can't handle she, it. She really is. a free form podcast. <laughs> a full idea does not get more than three minutes in before it's uh, redirected to something else here, huh? That's right. Unless unless the camera's on Gothens who is who's super focused. So give us a give us a clear thought. Give us one of your one liners. One liner what? Say something funny. Make sure make it, make tell sure us a joke. Give us funny one man. liners and make it three lines. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I don't know. I was trying to say, I forget what I was talking about now. I was trying to finish the thought on here and then you guys game, hijacked it. And now it's it's gone with the weed. Tell me your best joke. Go. You're the I'm one with the mint making noise in the other room. You heard him. Uh, 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 he is a goat. Yeah, I, I played the piano he's, earlier. He's, he's re- recruiting followers. Mm-hmm. He's trying to get the sheep to come. Uh, so what, what were, was I talking about? What were we talking about? Jokes? Mm-hmm. Hijacking things? Yeah. You're talking about jacking not, off and you were getting high while you're doing it. Different segments we're going to do. Including, uh, high time. <laughs> I want to incorporate. I want to incorporate she more of social to, yeah, media Penny, stuff. Penny wants to do uh, pussy. pussy. He's been really pussy talking. talking. How is that going to work? With their articulation of their lips. Where are you talking to somebody about something sexual for three minutes? Oh. Mm. Okay. I thought you were pussy Usually like another girl or somebody, but it'd be in the room with the cast and be pussy talk, and they have to hold a like stuffed cat or, so, or a dildo or yeah, something. Yeah, we're going to oh, set okay. up in there for her to do her, mm. like her segment. Have some of that soap that's shaped like a Click over to her during that. that. I used on my pussy the other day and it was great. Yeah. Invigorating. I haven't, I haven't used the uh, washi katami or I whatever they gave me. I not do anything, man. It was a, the, we were referencing Herbal yeah, Hannah's. Yeah, I'm not using those ever again. Herbal Hannah's the rolls. wellness. The Herbal Hannah's those. wellness, which is on the yeah. If I'm going to do that style of leaf, I'll just do Blackwood, backwoods. Adrian and Hannah make soap wellness. and it's very uh, good. Herbal so. Hannah's. I just know that. So, I was like really horny after that too. What's oh, up? Oh, we yeah, could do. Uh, using that. I don't know really? Yeah. It made you horny. Maybe it was. Just Is it because day. you're rubbing your vagina with soap? Do you think yeah, that has on the do it? At the gym while everyone else. Isn't that? Bad? I've been washing my soap. Isn't that dick bad? Soap because I thought gym. soap would uh, uh, like dry out. Do you, you bring? Do you bring the? Oh, okay. Yes. Like that seems like a really. That seems like a multi-layered twist on the old drop the soap bit. Yeah. Because if you gotta like watch out, because if the soap is actually shaped like a dick, like, are you more or less afraid? Scampers on in. Yeah, so I'll just be. That was a ready. scamper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be getting ready at the gym and set one of these. That is so bad, little boys, right down next to my. Uh, There's a uh, lot of dildos in this house, but Eat this is actually so. naked and making eye contact. That it's seems funny, like a. That, the same time that seems like a dangerous thing, thing to do. They're like, wow, so that guy who's just breathing like a wild animal and climbing on the ceiling of the sauna has dick soap. And what a surprise. Right next, to him, <laughs> right next to him in a slippery floor. It's almost like you're setting yourself up. To the poor suburban accountant who was in the steam room with you is just like, you know what? I don't even know why I... I don't even know why I'm surprised by any of this stuff anymore. It's every yes. Thursday in the sauna. It's the same guy, same dick soap. 
That's why we want the ad yeah. for you, you know, to be. Herbal Hannah's. You, you want and, to be and, able to bring out the there, so picture a of the guy's in so, prison, and then he drops this. Exactly. And the guy, other guy picks it up, pops it in him, and his face comes up on the screen, and, and it's, it says, oh, superimposed, Herbal Anna, you were asking for it. That we should go Although, and make that commercial. One thing, make that uh, commercial. If you, you use where can, we, where can we get a washing uh, soda? You can turn that shower. into five gallons it looks worth like a of dishwasher. Do it at EOS. Or, or, uh, I got a guest or, house. Uh, laundry right, we can all be talking. <laughs> I could do a quick. I could do a video with that with you guys. Show people how to like make their own, but use that as the soap. Make your own dish. So after the nuclear war, that's so what. All right. So, so all right, that's cool. This is. We'll know how to do it. Freaky Friday progress. Oh yeah, listen guys. I'm not supposed to say who it's for though. Oh. Until after. Okay, never mind. But it's mind. a very special. Well, she yeah, she has a celebrity gig, gig tomorrow, a house party oh, where right. there's going to be a lot of all the. Penny yeah, Poison there. will be performing for Carrot to Top show. tomorrow <laughs> at 9 p.m. They wanted the Squid Show too. She's doing this quiz Was show. it really Carrot She's Top? She's coming out of yeah. retirement. Yeah, I'm very tough. You retired, what, after like three weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> well, those shows well, are going away. You're your like Cher. Right? You just keep coming back. What's that? The Squid Show's your niche. Yeah, I guess. You got a corner. Well, Nobody else is like, doing it. was like, oh, you can do the sideshow stuff or that. And I was like, well, I'm going to charge this much more. And they're like, oh, well, what about the Squid Show? I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're You're like, like what about the Squid? For the Squid Show. I was like, no fucking way. So, yeah. Nice. So, so you're doing the Squid Show for some for some, for some high for some Las Vegas celebrities. Yeah. So these no, are these like big people. Like these celebrities who are coming stuff. to Vegas, running yes. out some yeah. fancy. And place. I'm going to be running around in a Gotham's mask, setting all wow. her stuff up. Are you serious? Uh, yes. Oh, that's going to be so cool. I wish I knew who we're just going to be there. I'll tell you later. We'll all right, all right. We'll find out. Online. We'll find out later. Oh, Penny Poison will be performing. For Michelle Coming out of retirement. And She's been Obama. retired for over two weeks, y'all. That was supposed to be her last performance <laughs> ever. And now she is back. Coming out of retirement. Back and come out of retirement. Pretty boys yeah. in. Well, touring, not necessarily performing, but touring. Okay, well, you touring just, that just means you're not doing local gigs. Except it's for really just a matter of, uh, you know, cash rules. Yeah. Yeah, it's matter of what gets offered, right? From Sometimes. The, and it, the show I love, which is the squids. Grace will be throwing squids and, and Jason Momoa A-list. dressed as Aquaman <laughs> tonight at the uh, at the dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> what is today? Friday? Are there are there mics? Does anyone have a mic going on today? I know there's one, but I'm not gonna go. To it. There's all. Wait, what is it? Gonna We're gonna do. take trips and go to a wedding. Oh yeah! Oh really? Yeah. I gotta Somebody drop. Gave me a bunch I gotta of drop Baphomet off. So. Yeah. And after I drop Baphomet back off, probably about a gram of shrooms. Uh, this dude gave me. They were all this little powder capsules that he made. A shrooms. Hey, you want some some shrooms? Well, fucking course I want some shrooms. And so I got a. Uh, I got like ten of them. We need to do something. Oh, this, yeah. this looks stupid. But they're only, I think, like a. You guys, I apologize. Like so it's probably your lighting like a looks great. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are. Powder, like, I know we need something cool up there yeah. now. Now the other oh, one is not. Know. Now the other one without lighting is me, but that's all right. All right, I, she's, she's I, gonna I, go I, get some decorations. So don't come back to oh, crotch cam for now. Grace, don't is, come on. Extreme the crotch, cam. crotch cam. Whoa! There you go. Da na 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 da na 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 He's He's creepy, art, it's it? the creepiest piece of artwork in this it's entire nice white pussy. house. He's got a weird nose and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I gave David some dope artwork for his paprika show. Some what? Oh, yeah, dude. I put it up. You saw the picture. I yeah. sent it to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Max sent me a, a really cool... Is that just a print, right, of a photograph? And it's, it's a around. canvas, yeah, like, yeah, from a picture, yeah, a photograph I took of. Being a delicate art. That's what I have to start doing is I only have really one wall behind me and 
than the paprika yeah, studio everybody, everybody because the other one's some... just the other one's just a curtain. So I'm not really sure how to hang stuff, but I did I did put a nail in the through the curtain on the wall there. So yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna have all my guests bring me one piece of used wall panties. art. What? Let's put a bunch of used panties on. Whatever they've got. Yeah, I mean, I, I hey, we're gonna try and have. Too, we'll have everyone Mistress. Everyone bring K. their own art. Yes. We'll have Mistress K back at some point. She was in town. She like uh, this badass. I wanted her to come, and she would be a good guest on Freaky Friday. Oh, yeah, and here was, we are. She was funny. Na 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 that, I don't know why it's a it's a weirdly appropriate. With the yep, that's purple. why. That's why I know why now. <laughs> Dude, you have a thing with cats. You're like Michael Jackson. <laughs> with this? Yeah. Well, no, my no, no, with cats. Not with, <laughs> no, with cats. Michael Jackson, oh. because Michael Jackson was always he never wanted to turn into a, any other animal but a cat. If you remember oh, the, funny. I think it was the was the black or white video. Oh, There's like a part where he turns oh, into like a panther. Yeah. The jaguar, and, and, yeah. And here, the main one is in Thriller because he wanted to be a monster and he wanted to be like and a werewolf that. situation. Mm -hmm. But he was very clear. I saw in one of these, uh, you know, behind the scenes or whatever. He was very clear he wanted to be a were cat. Okay. A were cat, not a werewolf. And if you look at Thriller, it is in fact a were cat, yeah, yeah, not cat a werewolf. Yes, yeah, yeah, cat yeah, eyes. Yeah. He had, and he had some big goofy whiskers. Yeah. Like funkadelic whiskers. Yeah. But he was definitely just uh, that girl's like e in her poodle shirt, and they're like you know. Were cat. Yeah. Next to his Halloween costume. That's my favorite move. <laughs> he claps and then he <laughs> boom. <laughs> and when they walk in a circle. They're like, this is not fun. Da 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 da. Okay, somebody else. So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Ooh. Anybody gonna fuck a turkey? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> is, are you gonna fuck a turkey? Probably the base. I always do the baster every year. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a little bit more sense than a turkey, I guess. Mm -hmm. That'd be really hard for her. You'd have to Wait, are you gonna do it? Is it, like, <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it like part of your cam thing? So it's just like a okay. turkey leg or? No, I could actually fuck a turkey, but. They're expensive right now. They do you put anything shorts. in the baster? Yeah, What's that? Do you put anything in the baster? Or do you just fuck sometimes the baster? Sometimes I just cum, but sometimes water. And, oh, um, so you do fill the baster usually, like, often. Thanksgiving and the holidays, I do my really weird shows, like I'll fuck Play-Doh. Or like something very strange. I don't know. That's right on the it's, same level as a squid, though. Well, I don't know if Plato's that's... Plato's dead. You know what's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now all of a sudden strange. fucking Plato is way creepier. Yeah, well, I mean, Plato isn't like literally an alien, so... I'm not sure which one you would call creepier, but... Well, just the fact that he's dead. Yeah. So really? A, that's long all time, a very long time, so it's going to be very hard. You'll have to use a lot of lube. A lot of weed. See, that's not a dick, it's a femur. That's well you could stump fuck him if he's an, if he was an amputee. That's why that's why these chicks at IHOP don't even need to wake me up. Oh, who is when I pass off and they just guys wake up they're they're fucking right in my stump there and then, I think it's Evan Connolly. He has a joke about amputee porn. Is that a thing, Mac? I mean just I don't know, I was gonna get into it with some people once <laughs> though, but I had some but uh that is a know. thing. I, I, though, right? a, I haven't really Let's put it this it. way: it's not enough of a thing yet. Okay. okay. I'm sure. It's I know there the is. Way. I know There's there is, but it's not like so it'll, it'll it's like fantasy. <laughs> I had this chick on face on uh, Instagram. Her name was like something feet, who was always hitting me up for pictures of my stumps. And I started sending them. I should start charging them for her, actually. Mm. Because she was like, yeah. "Oh, those are so sexy," and I'm like. Cause I got no fucking foot here, right? That's all I got. And then he's like, "Oh, show me your grace." He, like, he, could, he could fit we that in someone, some right? Sure. That could I totally could, happen. I could totally fill some too. Have you ever done it? You ever? You've had offers? Probably that chick, right? Or yeah, the, I never. Yeah, I should have monetized. Yeah, that's a lot of grapeseed oil, though. <laughs> you hey, so you okay? Hold on. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, okay. I had sort of a social trend that I thought I'd present to the, the forum. What's the deal with stepsister, stepmom, all of that stuff? The theory goes, the theory, the, the official story would be like, well, 
we just got out of the pandemic. Everybody's at home with their families, and so that type of stuff is where people's minds went, which is why. Uh, the except for they've crazy. been trying to push that for the last okay. six years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, that's Everything that's is, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Incest, so my is all over well, okay. So my thing, right? Because what Will says exactly but, but, where I'm going. But, but, but so because my point is that and all, I, I've we, never searched for it. And it is literally the first like three pay like the vast majority of all things that come up when you search for any kind of porn. Oh yeah, if I you have to. In the industry, you, you have to do, like, look. Three, you know, family videos. You have to look to find a porn video that is not a family video, and yeah. that it's is like creepy because that is not organic. I'm with family. you. I don't think people are looking like, that shit up because what was the old thing? They're like, hey man, blank. Don't don't you. Don't you tell me to Google blank. I don't want that in my search history. The FBI is going to come and get me. That's the same thing. People aren't going to be like, eh, my stepsister, yeah, my mom. No, like, it's just like, here's a chick I think is hot, but it's like, they, but they, they write it. the script. But they write it to be like, right. Oh, I mean, no. I, that's I, why you have the mute button. And I get it. It's just, well, it's, you know what messes me up? It's not the, it's not the dialogue. It's just the title. It's just the, the fact that I clicked on that. You know, I find myself searching for more You're like, and more. like, this is what I'm getting? This it is will, the fucking things that I'm attracted to now. No, but I'm saying. But it what, isn't even that. Like the title and, and the fucking person. What I'm saying. Thing. Why? Okay, so here. we've established. Why is that we've established that, that it's thing. come out of nowhere. We've established that it's not an organic. This is some of that manufactured dogma I was talking about, mm -hmm. where they they That's something true. gets crowbarred into the zeitgeist. Point. With no real, they they give an excuse. They say it's here because of this. But it was like literally one day. Yeah, it every was, search was stepsister, stepbrother, yeah, whatever porn. Yeah, Actually, yeah. and so Mike, okay, right, let's let the actual video. porn expert. Yeah. Uh, ahead, what, ahead, I want to hear what you have to say, and then I want to discuss. Okay, so one thing that has happened quite a bit is since the credit card companies started cracking down on a bunch of terms and things like that, there was a lot of incest porn that was just brother and sister, and super duper popular. But since that started going, like getting cracked down to, they switched it to step. So there's a lot more of it, and it started catching on. So it's a trend. This added kink step. So what well, you're like, saying, it's an authentic, it's an authentic well, they're not really, kink. They're not really brother and sister. Uh, well, no, it obviously. was initially pushed but, as brother and sister, and now they've changed, changed it to push it as step sister. Okay, so, it's so you're not saying there was actually an organic incest. scene for incest form. Is it just like, like the people who wanted that watched so much of it that it... Art artificially drove like the a minority. It becomes um, like very trendy, like kinks circle around. Because like, now it really is, or like, right? Uh, like BBC becomes a thing. Like right. everybody wants to watch that, or gangbang is everyone wants to watch that. It's a trend. It'll change. Like right now, and I think it's on its way out a little bit. The step stuff, uh, step stuff, and going back to gangbang. But even on cam, it's the same thing. Like it's Ohio. going from step to no, gangbang. No, well, maybe, right now it's gangbanging really your step. Gangbang is all. Popular. I've never been into gangbang uh, porn, but but you're gangbang. saying that it is. <laughs> Check out the last <laughs> man gangbang porn. So let's Check get this right. The checks. Yeah, the loves, checks. She gangbang. loves watching one. Gangbang. Gangbang. Let's just one say check check getting wow. just real. Yeah, they do a good job. You want to watch? They do a good job. She's trying to see Putin invade all the countries all at the same time. <laughs> but you think gang, so gang because gangbang is not something I've ever really been into. But, but I like know it's for, I know it's super popular. But for like normal like just VG like it's hard. They want to add something extra to it. Better. They want to so. add something extra to it. So typically it's like oh well let's add step and you know what they get the views. Yeah. So it's what people are viewing. It really is all well. That's the thing though because that's also a computer code and computer comes codes can be manipulated to favor like one search or another right. So you <laughs> can make so if there's you know. T there's a minority that is looking for this. They could make it look like a majority if they wanted to adjust the algorithm mm -hmm. that way. And what I'm wondering is if there's not some fishy business going on the in, in, behind the curtains. There's obviously an organic demand for it because sure. the stuff's already existed. And you were saying, you know, before it was even mainstream like it is now, there was a huge market for it right. within people who were looking up porn. But th I think that may have been... It's also when, not as taboo now to that's, watch that. That's what the taboo, so right? But the taboo yeah. element of it went away because it was pushed. Right, so now That's a good point. Right. You, again, manufactured dogma. I mean, you can eliminate taboos by just showing it in everybody's faces. The same way you can cram marketing down somebody's face by throwing them the same billboard a million times in a row, right? Right. So, but as, but as, as someone who's got a diverse sexual appetite, uh, including cephalopods, I would say like, <laughs> the, like, like, mostly the, there is, there is, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> She's always like, why can't we just cuddle fish? They're the, they're, they're the nice, they're the sweet. They're All like, you want they is they bring you chocolate you sex. Sex. Yeah, they're the ones that are thoughtful. Yeah, why is it always about you? Do you have to always be so shellfish? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tanner Tuttle on all the SeaWorld puns. This dude, Tanner, he's got, he's our feature at Ocha. He didn't do his, uh, he, he's a he's a pun guy. That's his, his thing. And he, he will do 10 minutes. He has a whole thing about his girlfriend broke up, broke up with him at SeaWorld. And then it's 10 minutes of, of, oh. of ocean puns. Ooh. The whole, it's pretty good. You would, you would really like Tanner I Tuttle. Like, I definitely want to hear it. Yeah. Him. He has another bit that's hilarious where he, he, tells a story about how a radio station played a Rage Against the Machine song over and over again, how he thinks, like, would playing Killing the Name of It, Fuck You, I Won't Do What You Told Me, over and over again, well, because our DJ got laid off, it was a protest, whatever. I think that's a blah, 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 blah way to say just that. And then he repeats it exactly the same paragraph, and then he does it three more times. Mm -hmm. And by the fourth time, the audience is dying. Mm -hmm. He fucking slays. It's really funny if you hear him do it. He usually burned his last, like, four or five minutes last night on that bit uh, not to like burn all Tanner's yeah material, Todd Glass right. is really good at that style where you take something and it's kind of funny and then you ram it into the ground until you're like what the fuck is going on and then like he keeps going until it's funny again yes I love that shit where all of a sudden you're like man I was I was booing at this two times ago and now it's hilarious all over again yeah that's how I felt with the Gallagher and his water <laughs> 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 That's what that's what you should comedy do. Comedy comedy sewer connoisseur over here. Gothens, you should dress like Gallagher, and then like she'll have the squid, and then you smash the squid with a mallet, and spray it all over the crowd. And they're they have, have, they have the plastic. Have time to get yeah, there. Are we plastic. allowed to do animal snuff film? I'll tell you what, <laughs> animal snuff. <film. laughs> yeah, what's the market? Snuff film before. Uh -oh. So how did that work? Tell Mark's us about that. Was that scary. for this? Was that for this fucking Czechoslovakians again? No, 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 no. It was weird because it was Germans. my ex-husband <laughs> yeah. having to pretend to murder me. Oh, yeah? It was very I did. Crazy. I used to have a joke that, uh, if you asked for a joke, I used to have a joke that uh, she was like, when I first met her, she was like, I was in a snuff film. I was like, no, you no, you weren't. If you, if you were, you'd be dead. Yeah. She, she was like, I didn't say I was the one being killed. <laughs> being <laughs> killed. Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway. Being grilled. But it was spooky because it was in the tunnels. Be careful what you here. wish for is what I'm getting at. It was what? in the tunnels here, and you have to watch out for like other creepy people that might like also be doing actually... it for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was intense. I want to do another one though. That's funny. You you're shooting a ghost movie in a haunted mansion. Basically. The thing is, you can't sell that anywhere. That's only for particular customers. Dark you cannot web. Post that anywhere. Yeah. The Clintons. Kind of. Yeah. Not quite like that, but close. It's like yeah. one customer can buy it for a large amount of money. Yeah. And then just have it for their own personal collection. How did, okay, how, what's the what, how are you what's being, the market for a guy pretending to be dead and you're writing a rigor mortis day? Like the like remember at the end of clerks yeah, when you can't post that anywhere. <laughs> that would have to be oh, yeah. a particular self. If you can't probably do get you pulled from you. Where you're passed out, dead, no blood, not even period blood. Right. Any of that. So but if you even pretending to be dead, you can't post that fucking anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, because we've been wanting to do a whole photo shoot series of uh like from ginger snaps where they do like the photos of the girls like pretending to be dead in different like stuff. We wanted to do that. Uh, but we can't post it anywhere. It's just like God. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna set up right? different scenarios where we have murdered each other. Okay. We're gonna, like make it look like murder suicides, we're gonna mix it up. Like, what a marriage is thing. really like. Yeah. <laughs> There's different ways you want to kill your Murder partner. Pictures. Wait, so when, when you did the fake snuff That's our therapy. So when you did this, the fake snuff film, how were you murdered? I was strangled to death. Okay. With what? Like, oh, no, and I was stabbed. I was strangled and stabbed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me make sure they did Is the it extra if you're killed two ways? Do they have something they have to pay you more? Like, oh, okay, you're strangling. <laughs> Stab two, that's 500 extra. <laughs> yeah, it was you know. scary because it was a real night. Yeah. Mm. That, you get that, you get oh, that they in. insisted on it being a real night? That's just all we had. I was oh, like, okay. it's fine. Okay. She swallows swords. She can handle a real life as a problem. Let's take it. Yeah. We don't have time to go anywhere else and get a fake knife. Shoot yeah, out. you're saying we should go dressed up as Gallagher and whatnot. It's like, you see, that's the type of that's the that's the that's the these that, costumes. Like, was crazy oh. enough that it scared me. Like, more than a couple of times, I've had someone ask me for a knife blade. I'm like, can we make it one of those fake martial arts wooden knives? And they're like, no. I'm like, 
All right, yeah, you're, you're, you're cool, thing. you're cool, you're cool. Like, let's, yeah. Yeah. let's keep it moving. Yeah. It, like, push some weird limits, because there is knife play in BDSM. Yeah. And there's, I mean, it's funny, because for the longest time, I thought edge play was knife yeah, play. Yeah, knife play. And I was so wrong. <laughs> oh, that's like, funny. edge play is just you edging yourself. It does make sense, edge. though. But okay. then they were like, oh, no, there's knife play. I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw it done, <clears> and I was like, that is fucking scary. Yeah. Like, with real knives and stuff, but it's trust between you and your partner. Right, that's like, almost like, it's like the bondage thing where you type you. Mm -hmm. By the way, I was trying to get huh. that guy Master Pockets on. Um, he's out of town this week. What's but Master maybe, Pockets? Master Pockets is, is you, what's the name of it? Shabari. Shabari. So mm -hmm. Shabari is, uh, why don't you just describe Shabari? Because okay. Master Pockets is Shabari Master. He has all these girls. He had a girl uh, all Shabari'd up hanging from a street sign at first mm -hmm. Friday a few weeks Gross. ago. The, the the girl was a, a girl that I had met. She was one of the bartenders at 18, 18 Ben. But she's like way into this. He's got this whole like gaggle of these chicks and they dress up in costumes and ties them up and yeah. do all these photo shoots. His Instagram is pretty cool. I mean, he's yeah. got a lot of it. What is Shabari? Break it down and what's it all about? It Shibari is a bond. Shabari is like a, the art of just being tied up and rope suspended and like just different rope ties <clears throat> and knots and stuff like that. But it's also very pretty looking and then suspended. Which is extremely fucking painful. Well, I think it's painful. What is what is the appeal of being tied up like that? You're just, you can't do anything. You're totally. You're at the mercy. No, is it the appeal? Oh. Well, that is I the appeal, the, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, you're, well, see, you're like useless. A, you can't do anything, so they could do absolutely whatever they want. So it's, it's like a trust, float it's tank. Like a trust thing. But it depends on Low the individual. For example, awesome. like I've, you know, I've been tied up to bed restraints, and I immediately had a panic okay. a response. For some people, it's that way. Yeah, it like I was like, you know, can't do it. Yeah, that's not. True. But also, the ropes feel very like. They release an endorphin, mm -hmm. and like if somebody knows what they're doing when they untie you, you like almost come from just the way the ropes feel coming mm. off, and the uh, blood flow coming back feels fucking amazing. There's a lot of emotional release. I can't even tell you until after I've had a panic attack during you have sex. To, you're a force to deal with some be stuff. Be because I, I, when I bumped into them, I was like, so to what, what percentage of this is, this is like a sexual thing, right? And... They immediately they're like, oh no, it's it's not not always. I mean, there's a lot, and they got into the psychology of it and everything. And then I looked at Master Pockets uh, Instagram, and it's totally a sexual thing. Uh -huh. it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's such a sexy. It is sexy. Thing. I mean, it, it's like for B BDSM for me is like more of a energy thing and a power exchange. It's not sexual. Some like I have rape fantasy or grape fantasies. That's rape. like a sexual thing. Oh. She has to say grape on grape. here. She has grape fantasies. But, grape. That's right. She's a juggalo. She likes grape soda. Yeah. <laughs> like grape soda. We'll we'll grape Fago. Wino like most witches. Mm -hmm. She wants to get grape by a clown. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's been okay. Well, Ralph is coming. Well, we're gonna do the show with Ralph, so we'll see. I, dude, how funny would it be if we get Ralph in clown makeup? <laughs> he was like, oh, that, he looked like hey, John. It'd, it'd probably be a natural. Yeah. Which yeah, he would. He would. Ralph, Ralph was a car. Shoot poppy seeds out of the uh, the, the yeah, flower on the lapel. Like a clown. That's a good idea. Ralph, let's work on clown makeup. What would Ralph do? Hey, what would Ralph do? What would Ralph do? Wait, what? We could get Bazoo, the dude that lifts the fucking oh, dude. pound shit with his nuts. That guy seems like a the fun clown. Time. That guy's like a fun interview. Yeah, he's he did one that of the, like in front of Bert Kreischer on his show, and it was oh yeah, really Bert was like just losing his mind over it. That felt like Bert would like that. Oh. Like how, like I know him. Bert Anyways, get him, paint, <laughs> get him to paint. Get him to paint. My good friend Bert Kreischer. You can do it for sure. <laughs> that would be. We're cool. asking to. Yeah. Well, we have so many. We have so many. There's so much room for activities, and we have so many people that do so many different activities. And by the way, the whole thing about bringing up Master Pockets, I bumped into him. And like, what you do is really interesting. I'd like to have you on my podcast. And he was like, "Cool, here's my card. We'll talk." And then we did our first Freaky Friday, where they gave me the one chip challenge, put me in an ice bath, and washed me with all this dick soap. And <laughs> And that shit sucked. I mean, it was there's the euphoria of the ice bath and then surviving the chip and all of that. But my idea, I, I just said, okay, well, we're going to get Gothens back on the, the next one or the next convenient time. Mm -hmm. And then I realized Master Pockets is out there. And I thought it might be great, particularly 
with Penny uh, available to be sort of a, a co-host for a, 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 true, a true kink exhibition. Mm -hmm. We tie Gothens up at son of a bitch and hang him from yes, one of these deals. The entire episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Make, make that motherfucker podcast from Kibachi World. We need like a point though for him to hang from. It yeah. yeah it has to be well, that. you know, well, well, if you look, it, what, funny, so. Pockets has like a, um, you know, he's kind of a swing set that he obviously yeah, he obviously funny. takes in different places for his mm -hmm. shoots. And I was like, well, we could probably fit that in a room, or we could use a pull up bar. That won't work. Okay, well then we'll. Uh, that won't well, work. I, you know what else? I've got a. She immediately said that when you when you pitched the idea to me, she was like, "No, okay, you can do but, that. It well, doesn't he, work that he, way. You need rigging. He has that rigging. He is has a, lot a of he setup. has a thing. Okay, and, well that costs. And so no, he he has a thing. He would drink. Okay. That's what I'm saying. We're going to tie you up, dude. That's what's going to happen. That's well, where we're gonna, coming and then, that day. Hell yeah, you are, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I, we're all gonna, <laughs> we're all gonna, and we're all gonna have paddles, and we're gonna, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna, then we're gonna just ice bath you, and we're gonna put. You're gonna be tied up, and you're gonna start crying because you have an emotional release, and you're gonna calm, and then <laughs> it's gonna be a great episode. We're we'll gonna all. As long as it doesn't jack my back. It's you fine. just have to let him know. Like, yeah, there's it starts putting pressure on. Yeah, dude, I, bet, I, bet that, that, I bet that dude could wrap you up in a way that would repair your back forever. Yeah. He would it, probably. Sometimes just, it can be certain ways. Oh, he'd be like, black. spank his left ass cheek when I pull this rope. <laughs> and all of a sudden you hear a chiropractic crack, and Jason's like, I've never <laughs> felt, felt better. better in my life. It's probably the best thing you've ever felt. Probably so. I really hope that happens. I it hope can be it's... addictive, seriously. I don't. I love it. I absolutely adore it. So you, you've had people do that to you before, right? Yes, do you know? Suspended. You know how to do it? I, can, I don't know how to do the ropes. Right. It looks so complicated. It's very complicated. Because I still looked at ropes in Boy Scouts, so these look way, way more complicated. Yeah, it's, there's some... it's been a while. Uh, when I was like 19 or 20, like I, uh, I did a lot of. Um, a rock climbing and uh, was in the Navy, so mm -hmm. I was more fluent in the knots, and I think that's why at that time in my life I was I those, had more opportunities. Those knots are really important. Rock yeah. climbing that, that's the most important type of knot. That and sailing knots are like the two most important, I guess. Any knot to save your life, but I mean, when you when I when I've never I've never tuned into anyone instructing how to tie rope more than when you're doing rock climbing and stuff. Even though they like do it for you to make sure you don't fuck it up at first or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm like, I will oh. never attempt this on I have 100% master. It's so scary, just the idea of this you tie something a little bit, a little bit off. Do you do, Mac, do you, look, do you do climbing? Do you do like rock climbing with your hands and shit? I climbed and then I, I took my leg he, off. He and hikes more than anyone I know. And then I took my, I tried with, and then I, because I went to a hangar event, which is a prosthetic company and they, brought this wall in and then I went in. They they had a little nubby foot that went onto the bottom of it that I put on my leg and climbed mm -hmm. with it looked all right. But Okay, so you had like The a... problem is, is my prostate leg always drags on shit. It's the hardest thing. I want to get a way to take the knee all the way off and then just put a little stub right on the end of here. So I could just... Yeah. That's, that's kind of cool because then you don't have to pull your knee way up oh, your man, armpit to catch certain... Some climbers without a leg are like... Fucking some of the best climbers because you don't have much sense. weight. Yeah, body weight. Right? Yeah, I remember when I first things. when I was climbing in high school, like they said I was doing it wrong because I was doing it all by my arms. Like you I would climb your, so yeah, much. Leg. Yeah, I got you, Jason. What do you? What, oh, like, you, you want to have your your leg. body weight in and then really yeah, not use your arms and it's like pos position and stuff more than power and over is right. the right way. That's all you'll have. But they got both of uh, both of our prosthetics. His prosthetic leg, my uh, prosthetic horse cock. I got the idea from the teacher who insisted on going to school and teaching children uh, with uh, prosthetic titties, big giant ones. Oh, that one so in now, Canada, now, the man I'm, in Canada. Yeah, so now, yeah, I'm going to identify as having a prosthetic cock and insist that it's science. And anyways, so yeah, I kind of know his struggle a little bit. Also, Mac, when you lift up your uh, when you lift up your your stump, I can see your nuts. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, and I moved the camera up a little bit. Oh, I was like, I, probably, oh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, like, I mean, I told you they're not small. Hey, they have to like. It's hard to get them out of the way and not sit on them. Hey, look, he's got a powder bag. That is a rock climber. <laughs> <laughs> get this shot. Let's oh, what are we getting here? Oh, you're in the mirror. 
Yeah. That's cool. You kind of look like a... Got one shot at the studio. You sort of, you, you got sort of a Brandon Lee, Glenn Danzig thing going on. He does, on. huh? Yeah. He does. Jason has Tommy Lee style good looks. <laughs> oh, well, it's sweet. It's not a good thing. He has well, Glenn, he was he has, being kind, to be fair. He has Glenn Danzig style good, I don't know, so name of Johnny. <laughs> He has Edgar Allan Poe style good looks. <laughs> I do imagine <laughs> yeah. my heart is going to be beating under the floor uh, eventually. I'm not bad looking until I open my mouth. So, and that goes for what I say and teeth. That's right. Yeah, both things. That's right. He he has very few lines and very few teeth as well. Well, he always snorted them all. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he doesn't have any left. There's very few lines. That's where they all went. That's right. Don't do drugs. He used to have a lot of lines, but they're no longer. They're no longer. I like how the two freakiest people have a perfectly innocent little kitten in between them. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. It is. Did you get? Such, where did you get that? It was like a dollar store poster. Oh, For no okay. Reasons. I was gonna say like this just. Score. Like it, it looks like this. It looks like a poster that would be on the wall of a, of a girl's room in a Disney, exactly. one of those Disney sitcoms well, or something. I want to paint over some of it and make it more evil looking, but it's still cute. Yeah, I mean, but the right but like the, the heart door. necklace. Uh, the heart necklace is great. Yeah, I mean, put it around the front door. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Thing? I don't know. They're not necessarily the freakiest. We like. What do we really know? Yeah, about how that? do you know? That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. He, he's in the woods all the time. What yeah. the fuck is he doing in the woods? What are right? you doing in the woods, Mac? Tell the people who want to know. Well, <laughs> there aren't necessarily... Like, they're lazy. <laughs> they stood, like they worship, like, Satan. Like, he made his own Satan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I gotta take care of my baby. I love my little baby bathroom. Right man. in between you guys and a little lower. Yeah. No, no, no. The the arm. Stick the mic up with the arm lower, just like that. For those of you who don't know, uh, I have a uh, baby goat with autism. So you really should have a baby goat. You guys should have a pig. It just gave it all right. its shots right away. It got all the right, back. I want an iguana. I saw that. You want an iguana? Yeah, desert iguana. Have you seen them? They're yeah. like this big. They're super cute. Oh yeah. They look like little dragons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's that reptile right. store that that's cool. right there, and then there, my agents do these. Yeah, it's reptile. right next to my There's house. There's a reptile rescue center here too. Really? Yeah, my agents run it. Oh wow. Yeah, they're really sweet people, but they have so many. There's only so many they can take in, so they'll try and find homes. Okay. Yeah, I think we really should cool. tie Gothens up, and while he's he's hanging there incapacitated, we bust out the new mascot for the Paprika Show. The snake. The Paprika Serpent. Yes. How can you be so into Satan and be scared of snakes? It I, makes no sense at all. I've not had a pet snake, mm -hmm. and it's because of him. But because you would have a pet snake, I right? I always have had a pet snake and a tarantula. You strike me as a pet snake and pet tarantula type of chick. Mm -hmm. Yep. It seems like the type of thing you'd be into. One of the, uh, <laughs> I hooked up with a girl once who had a pet snake. Is that because you're looking at the, uh, you uh, at at the mouse being like, oh yeah, choke that shit. Choke it. <laughs> I remember that as a kid, like, my parents like, had to like, give, uh, get us pet snakes. And lizards and yeah. stuff like that because we couldn't have uh, dogs or cats. I never did the pet but, snake thing, but I did have a pet iguana when I was a kid. It was a trend among all our friends. We all had those green iguanas. Was it named Jub Jub? His name was uh, Gumbo, and he died. Oh. Of, yeah, and he uh, died. He died of malnutrition. Oh God! Uh, oh, but the cool yeah. thing about the <laughs> desert, the cool I was thing in, about the desert one is it's actually. I was I was a bad no, lizard dad. I had a gerbil one. I think it died flying across the room or something. I'm not sure. I got a great <laughs> pet story. Like flying to the the. Oh, look, he can catch on the curtain or whatever. I, I have two and I bunnies. I with my friend and, yeah, didn't live that long. I had two bunnies, and then and my parents were like, okay, these these will be cute. Let's see how they treat them. And one was one of those freaky albino ones, mm -hmm. and it was really big, and the other was a little brown one. Me and my sister went outside. The little brown one was dead, and the white one was humping it and eating him at the same time. Oh, he was covered in blood. Yeah. Like this freaky rabbit white rabbit. And they were fat and everything. Fuckish, he man. was fucking scary. That's the most metal thing I've ever heard. But I was really. like eight years old and my sister was six. And we'd go out there and we're like, we never got a bunny. Like, yeah. at all. And Again. now, the and, and, that was, and that was the birth of Penny Poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking she, freaky. She saw, she saw, well, that, that was it. It was a rabbit snuff film. They were just acting it out. It was like, it was like the Wyland got vampires in there. Just busted what, what, what was that? Hey, now. what was that movie? It was about, Will, you would know this, about the rabbits. And it's like the, uh, the rabbits like leaving the farm or whatever. And uh, talks about the brutality of nature. But also they're anthropomorphized. So it's extra crazy. What is that? It's, it's a pretty famous movie. I've been seeing it pop up on, on the internet recently. But in the, 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 sc- the screenshot that they always show is this rabbit that's all like foaming at the mouth. It's got red eyes. It's all like. And pe- it's, it's, it, the thing is, is that it was a kid's movie. When I think of a rabbit foaming at the mouth, I'm thinking uh, uh, Holy Grail. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. What time is it? We got to go to a wedding today. Two. What time we need to leave? By? You guys got a wedding? We need to leave by five. Okay. We so as long as we wrap time. up by four. I gotta get out of here by five as well, so we got another hour and a half. All right. And Bobby's well, not coming, so we're just gonna like we can we can go we get we've got four forty one percent. We can do as much as we want. We got an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Just keep going. Fine. Cool. Yeah. All right. So we're trying to think of that that movie. I, I okay, I, I fucked it up because I didn't I, I just assumed you fucked it up, Walter. You fucked I, it up. I assumed that, that is fucked, dude. you're out of your element, Donnie. I, I, it, I was. I assume that Will Couch would know the this one, just because you seem to you seem to you know about stuff you're like the, this. I mean, rabbits and, and Will Couch are synonymous with each other. Yeah, that's. Like, people, when I think rabbits. I just see Will Couch. That's what they say. That's people just, are like, hey, there's, there's that happens. rabbit knowing motherfucker oh, Will Couch when he walks in the party. That's what they. That's, oh, what, that's yeah. how he got he's his nickname. Got, he's got that rabbit. <laughs> oh knowledge. shit. It's rabbit brain. Yeah, rabbit. Totally not, rabbit no, brain. I couldn't think of it, man. I, I should. I've got rabbit brain. I couldn't think of what it was. I should know, but I haven't actually seen it. Are you promoting the wedding over there? There we go. Oh, they look so normal. <laughs> they are. They're like he kept telling me. He's told me several times. Best behavior. <laughs> like he feels the, the need to tell me. My buddy do, Alex. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, Alex and Jasmine are getting married today. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. No, uh, no, Alex has been one of my. We're best best friends, friends for a very, very long time. Uh, She's grabbing his head like, bitch, I'd be in half. So we're going today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now you're half. That's what I that's always a, That's a very, look, as far okay, Penny, as far as body language, mm-hmm. she's just mm-hmm. grabbing him by the face. Now, if you <laughs> would be... Yeah, yeah. yeah I, would just I wasn't like, trying to break their relationship down on the podcast. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's that's why you don't have to do it. That's what I'm here for. Well, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, no, I don't I like I, I, I would like that. Hey, I, I would like it if someone's like, the, I'm, I'm gonna, hey, whatever you say right now, this is what I'm going to play as my speech for the wedding. So. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Let me tell you, some bitch was like, we're going to grab you by the face and that's our wedding photo. I'd be like, bitch. I can we're still talk up. about body language and things. I don't like people touching my face. I don't like it either. I don't like people in my bubble. I don't like it when girls, uh, you know, play hit or something the like face that. face touching. If a girl way. gets too physical, like, like, like jumping on me and stuff, I'm like, I'm going to judo throw you through the floor. I like being like, choked, but I don't like my face being touched. So I don't know. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. This is, that, like, this is this is a dominant is too, like, move. Like really she, uh, what's the word? Chibari. She, she Chibari's that guy. That's what, that's, that's what this means. Like, that's that's a Chibari move. Well, okay. It is sort <laughs> of a Chibari is just the style of rope and me It is sort of, right, but she's Chibari in his face in that wedding photo, and that that is significant, I think. That's so, all it. So her fingers on the you, rope in this analogy? This is in that's, that's, the, this is the wedding invitation though. She's grabbing him by the face the way you do to a dog that is not is yapping to you like well, we can't see that he's hooking her by the vagina. Ah, it's all about the off so, camera. So he's got her there, and she's like, he's like, yeah, yeah I got. Huh? It. So she's gonna go, and he's just like, ha. Ah. You know, that's why we don't see the downstairs. I mean, that's the bye bye God. Like, <laughs> and all I, can, I can't confirm, I but if I were to guess, and then there's people like me who are like, hey man, that's sort of she looks sort of like she's dominating. Interesting dom- to see that your mind went there. She's dominating you on the hunter gatherer level in our wedding photos. What do you think that means? And he's like. Well, here's the thing. I beat the fuck out of her when we're at home and no one's watching. <laughs> oh my god. Or not. I don't it's know. Crazy your mind went there. Yeah. I'm just that's the only like, justification. This is a physical 
thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's I don't... the same as, like, if somebody comes and goes like this, like, hey, come here. Like, even just to take you. Yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. Gently, oh, it's yeah. like, that, don't do that. Like, like I don't cool. I don't like it, but don't I'm also a guy. You do it to me all the time with the tattoos. It's like, oh, right, like, strangers yeah, tattoos and make people think they can the touch time. you. It's fucking annoying. Like, don't touch people, like, ever. Like that's that's weird. probably how pregnant ladies feel because everyone's always touching their yeah. mm-hmm. That's probably even I'm, I feel like that's super invasive because you're touching my first of all you're touching my tummy. Second of all, there's a oh baby. My God, you're growing a kid. There's a baby yeah. in my yeah, tummy. Yeah, very delicate. Oh wow. Thing. Yeah, I don't want your weird paws on my my mm-hmm. unborn. That's part of why I didn't like. Really I'm the other way around, I, like I don't want a baby anywhere near my hand. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I, I mean, even I don't want to strip clubs because people just make you feel that they can touch have. you no yeah, matter what. Yeah, because they think you're like a product yeah, of and it's the just, club. I, I couldn't stand it. Meanwhile, you were an independent contractor. You do not mm-hmm. work no, there, no, and you no, cannot no. be owned by the club. The that's stapling right. and stuff is fine, and I like being spanked. Well, that's because it's your idea. But, yeah, yeah, it's me letting it happen. Yeah, As opposed to just some rando being like, hey, or like even, I hate the whole like, hey, like, down mm, the back. The grazing. Oh, yeah, like that's just like that's your thing. Why do you hate it? I think it's I don't, nice. it's a, no, like, I mean, just here strangers, strangers doing it. I'll like, kind of do it, but it's like, I'll, I'll give it like, like, like this thing. much gap in between my hand just to be like, I'm moving <laughs> past. Like, it's oh, like, yeah, I'm touching right. their ghost back that's right. like six uh, inches behind them. Mm-hmm. Like, like you're trying to your soul. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not walking around like I've been walking around this club naked for three hours and nobody has touched me. I wish one of these guys would just grab my arm. Let me know. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what it feels like to have a man really just tell me how I wish a real man would. That's why I'm here. Man. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, one in a million, uh, <laughs> as a philosopher said, anyway, so there's a chance. Like, <laughs> you're giving that me a what, chance. That you're petting a go. Oh, that, that, that there's that one girl who's like, finally, one of these guys is groping. I haven't even seen his face yet. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, you gotta bring your face hand back over. And we gotta figure out why it started smoking. It obviously. I mean, we've got to have a big lecture with it and make yeah. sure and tell us about the health implications of smoking. It's, it's like right. if you pour holy. <laughs> it's like if you pour holy water on the necronym, on the nac- yeah. what's necromancer. The Necroman- what's the name of the book? The book of the dead. It's the necronomicon. The necronomicon. Well, if you throw holy water, on the neck, it would start smoking too. That's my point. That's what happened to my bass amp when it was over here because I only play Christian rock, okay. very point strict point style. Point. I like to. Now this is smoking. I don't mosh. I just yeah, wave my arm back and forth like this, and I close my eyes. And I'm like, oh, this is Feel it, the man. Spirit. This is it. This is the best concert I've ever been to in my life. I'm this my right home. here. Creed. Okay. Do you remember that whole rash in the '90s when they were She's like, hey, if you like Anthrax, up. you'll really like uh, God Mosh. Or whatever it is, you know, it'd be some Christian rock Cosmic band. Or... Well, you no, know, it'd be a Christian rock band that well, they're like. Creed was a Christian band, wasn't it? Really, but it was. It went mainstream, but I think he was kind of Christian rock. Well, I, it, Scott Sapp was raised by a preacher, I believe, and so there was a lot of that influence in the lyrics there, and everything. Okay. But most of it with, is him just with, ripping off Pearl Jam. With, with the eyes wide open. I hit you, Couch. You were around. You were around for my uh, my Scott wide Stapp open. era. Oh yeah. When I was, <laughs> That was, yeah, I was just, you know, you know, Scott Stapp, he, he lost his job at Creed, and now he's got to work construction, but he's really bad at it. He just stands there like, this shovel's broken. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had like 10 more of them that I would do. I Sometimes wearing leather chaps, which I found at a thrift store. Was I with you when I bought those? Yes, you were. <laughs> you were there for the leather chaps. I bought leather thrift chaps. From a lo- I was a little bit pissed that they didn't fit me too because I feel like that's something we should be sharing. Oh, they, they fit like, you Like, well. homies share still chaps, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's totally terrible. Ben's got to share Thrift stores have some good yeah. shit. I don't want to go through with Las Vegas thrift there. stores are the best thrift stores in, in the, the world. Oh, yeah. In the world because... Oh. Oh, everyone, way, everyone who moves here is weird, creative, psycho, and then every two years, half of them are like, 
fuck Las Vegas, I'm going back to Omaha. And the other oh, half OD. So, and like, the, yeah. 100%, you get 100% yeah. of their clothes. Yeah, our, our yard sale, our weekend that. yard sales That's in the suburbs true. are straight fire, son. You get the best shit at the yard sales and the thrift stores, but the yard sales where you can haggle, so that's where it gets really. Yeah, good. that's because the thrift shops you can't. Use. And that's but where it's cheaper, dude. That's where we have discount days. I, that's where I should get some of my artwork. I mean, uh, my artwork for the the background of the the Paprika podcast, right? Is we just hit some of these crazy. Uh, there's always cool pictures of stuff, just yes. like that, just like that gnarly kitty cat right well, there. Well, then it's also a big retirement area, so like there's tons of consi- uh, like consignment and estate sales too. Yeah, older people are weak, and you can take their shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're still so here. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. anybody says that's illegal, um, it shouldn't be. Okay. So, uh, uh, I, I'm coming out uh, in local politics <laughs> to legalize elder abuse. I think that is high time. He's on the QAnon ticket. Well, you, you know, you got those people that are trying to legalize, legalize pedophilia, so, you know. You got is it, are you a D and R, or are you and a Q? Shit. Yeah, just do it. But elder abuse needs to happen, but pedophilia doesn't. Oh, uh, what, what, you're talking about the... The, the TED Talks when they're talking about pedophilia being... A right, legal, right, trying to normalize it. Well, that that's, normalize real shit. See, that. beating elders is something that we could normalize and be okay with, but the pedophilia is, depending, is not... Depending on the elders. I mean, yeah, yeah. elders yeah. think the violence is the answer, except for, you know, no, I don't think it is. I'm not, but I'm but, but the, norm, the normalizing of pedophilia is something that we have seen a lot of. So, I mean, right like, along with the sister, brother, all, it was like and right there. See, and, then, and then now we're going to send, you know what I mean, uh, you have stressors to educate our five-year-olds I because they need to learn about, you know... Well, it's, it, the idea of sexualizing children at an early age is pretty concerning because it, it, was, it was understood because of the process thinking, because of necessity... Yeah. Because societies fucking crumble if you don't take care of the kids. Oh, well, because they grow up and they're fucked up and they don't know how to run shit. They become the adults. And that's why you have to have a... It's just like building a house. you got to have a firm foundation. The first stuff you put in, the kids, that's got to be... you got to have them strong, solid, critical thinkers, being able to solve problems. You know, High self-esteem. They say that's the number one way to keep your kids from getting fucked up off of the internet and all this new information coming in. Number one, make sure they got really high self esteem, and then they're not susceptible to the the weird the weirdness as much. You know, the cyberbullying or the porn and all the other stuff. You know, well, they get the in a negative they way. Get high self esteem from place. having purpose and no stuff. No present right? company. They need because uh, need, you can't just say have high self esteem. They get it from actually doing shit. True. From actually having things that they're doing so it gives them some self-worth and having challenges they overcome. That's why so many people, I believe, have this fucking mental health problems and low self-esteem is because they've never had any challenges they've overcome and anything hard, it just ran away from them. We shouldn't have to have difficulties. And so then you fucks people up because then they have no self-worth because you've never actually accomplished anything or... Dude, that's a factor. has been done for them. Yeah, it's just all for them, so it was never them doing anything, so how can you actually get self There, There is... someone's always done right. it for you. So there, it's completely stunts them. Like, yeah, you know, there, there, there is nothing that will clear up gray areas in your self-esteem, like getting out and suffering through something and making your way through it. There's oh, yeah, nothing. then you're only no like, one I can tell, did that. No one can tell you shit if you've done the thing. Yeah, you're like, I got I got through that shit and didn't beat me. Oh, you know? it's like, I would again. Couch, you look like you have a thought. Well, I just, I wouldn't oh, say man. that there isn't a tendency to normalize. Uh... uh but there's like, like a, laws a, passed. I mean, there there have been right. things put in like, <laughs> but and they don't know the guys to remember that for thousands of years coming apart, uh, it was considered normal, and now that we, because we understand brain psychology and we know that your brain doesn't stop developing until 25, right? That we are, it's not that they're trying to normalize. I think there are people who. Uh, haven't gotten weeded out of society yet <clears throat> who are trying to keep themselves around. I mean, that's true. That too. That too, as for much sure. As, I don't... Because you're saying it's like it's an agenda to move in that direction, but I think we're, we're moving in the direction of more rights for children. The people who are trying to quote-unquote normalize it are trying to move backwards in that yeah. sense. Well, what, what I'm... What I, okay. what I think it plays into... I think what we're saying, both of what we're saying makes sense because you could say, like, there are people... 
who are in people who are in power who are in, who can manipulate you know media and stuff who are into that and then in order to to normalize it so they can they don't have to be in the shadows as much you right. know what I mean mm-hmm. yeah, like what is it like you have all of a sudden that everyone is everyone is trans and all of a sudden Demi Lovato mm-hmm. is like trans now you know what I mean like that and then she then she's like never mind. You know, like goes back or whatever. Like it's just a I thing. I don't think that, that necessarily fits the mold, but definitely things like you know the fact that it's not the same thing. Disney's, it's totally the trans things are totally different. Uh, that, like topic. Disney stars, like all of the new celebrities and uh, um, you know coming up, um, always they're always like in their early twenties, but look, uh, me, you know, like. 15, they look 16. older than they are. No, I mean, no, they look like 15, 16, but they're... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like your Selena Gomez. Uh, but but when she was really young, she was made to look like she was like in her 20s. Right. Right, so it's like, you, it's like the pageantry, where you have the Little Miss Sunshine type situation, right. where you have a little bitty kid who is like a little, you know, should be playing with jump ropes and whatever, you know what I mean? Just right, being right, in the jungle right. jam, just being a little kid, watching Coco Melon or whatever, mm-hmm. and then... You dress her up like, uh, you know, like a hooker and right. make her dance. Like, that's confusing. There was, a, there was a show that was on. There was just that. And I can't remember. There was a big bunch of outrage. Because there was these young kids and it was straight like That's not a show dancing. I want to. Oh, no, you're yeah, talking. I can't remember. It was a straight. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. They're like boot, like doing uh, twerking and boot yeah. bouncing. It was like yeah, all, all this girls are like seven and yeah. nine Oh, God. Well, that's that's crazy. Zero yeah. reason. That was, and they're like. That was on Netflix. I saw something. Yeah. They, got, they got in big trouble for and the, 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 there was some, and then there was a deep dive, and where the producers, the people who gave that movie awards and stuff like that, they were affiliated with this creepy stuff. Now. You know, yeah, we have been on this for a little bit. Where have you been? they old been Jeffrey sick. Epstein buddies. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't worry. He was he killed himself, man. He was just depressed. Decorated. He didn't. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. You know. He had, he had. Uh, Got massages from some seventeen-year-olds, yeah, and he was really sad about that, and so he hung himself. That's yeah, it. Was, hey, there's nothing. Do, why do you even ask questions? I just this sounds like misinformation. Yeah, I you mean, just, it's, yes, his partner Ghislaine Maxwell was the daughter of the most world's most famous MI6 and Mossad agent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but that's that's just a coincidence. What do you do? You think I heard the theory that he didn't even. He wasn't even dead. They just faked his death to get him out of there to put him somewhere else for some other reason. That could, I mean, I mean, uh, the thing is, no cameras and shit. There's very right. little. Well, the thing is, no one really knows anything. There's no. obviously some other shit going on, and they're obviously saying that it's this to keep people from asking questions. They they're like, all right, well, we're just gonna tie up all the loose ends. And and move on to something else. Just keep doing it. It doesn't matter what people ask because people just keep shut down from it, and they but, just don't release shit. But what is the what is the real story? You know, what is the real story? Like, I don't know. I, the thing is, I, I think we've all probably been down this rabbit hole so many times. We have to. I, I don't even want to say Epstein just because it's 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 such well traveled ground in the our The scary circles, part you know about I mean? it is there are literally dozens, if not hundreds, of people like him around the world. So, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. More. there's more in the network that we just didn't But of. most of them get away with it for a long time. Well, they all get he away with it. got straight from bust and everyone knows about, about it, right? Do you guys, here's a, here's an interesting it's thing. Almost, it, I look at it like it's, it's almost the way that uh, corrupt cops will like use the confidential informant program to use drug dealers to push the drugs. Uh, right. So it's like, in effect, the cops are the drug dealers, but they're using... Uh, Proxies. Street, Proxy yeah. War, yeah. yeah I, I feel like that's the way, whether or not it's Epstein or uh, 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 other people who do that, that's, they are being controlled so that if they ever get caught, they can get thrown out of the bus. I just It just occurred to me, you know who would be a great guest on Freaky Friday? Who? Tino Sanchez, because he's a musician and he knows yeah. all about this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Tino would be a shoot. Oh, by the way, quick plug. Uh, we have, uh, hosted by Casper, we have Tino Sanchez and Ty Rivera headlining Wise Guys tonight and tomorrow night. So make your way down there if you want to check out that show. It should be fun. I've, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Tino do more than like a 10 minute set. I'd like to see him do a, you know, thirty minutes or something. I've seen him do all sorts of things. He was uh, he started around the same time I did. Yeah. We both started on the same open mics and uh, we we tend to get along. Tino's people are like than me and him. 
more than the other comics. Not that it's saying our jokes are alike at all, but like just the, I don't know, maybe where it comes from. Why well, get along with both you guys? Like, just, yeah. I get along with both you guys on on the, the sim. You guys got a similar vibe in that you have you have your brain is doing its own thing, but I dig it. I'm kind of like, all right. Mm. Like, Tino was on the show. Me and him were just it was just kind of like when Tino was on. The Tino episode was very much like the Trez episode, where we just rapid fired conspiracy theory stuff back. Because the thing is, is Trez never it, it's weird when you when you bump into someone who has been down all the same rabbit holes as you, and you're like, oh, we don't actually have anything to talk about because we're all on the same page. We, we, yeah, we linked. The we're same on the same page thought. with the craziest shit, yeah. you know, which is quickly becoming, I think, the most. Well, what do you think about the, the depopulization? I I see. Like with um, the Georgia guide the transgender, well, that that's there, you know, saying that we're going to be under 500 million. Um, but this is just that's weird. a bit much. All right, you know, I mean, we, they really need to start working on complete extinction of the human species. Well, I think that's what they're working on. With the, I think that's what they're pushing in a weird way in this Ukraine. It's like they're pushing for a nuclear war, and you got these billionaires building bunkers, and it's like they're all oh, we're just going to reset. We can do AI, and we can actually run everything without all these fucking people anymore. So how can we do it in a way that looks like we're not, and then you just kill fucking everybody off that you find is actually obsolete? Weird theory, but it's like, I don't know, like I have not have anything well, super behind it, it's only, but there are these billionaires that have their giant fucking bunkers that are just to save and be fully the independent that they're with, building underneath their house. The right. problem like with it's that not, theory is that, okay, so the thing oh that keeps goodness. nuclear, uh, that, that keeps nuclear facilities from melting down mm -hmm. uh, is have... You have to have industrial civilization to keep pouring water over the rods. Mm -hmm. So if society were to ever fall, all of a sudden, you have, have over 660 um, uh, Chernobyls. And I can like, finally... Boom, boom, boom. Well, I mean, I mean you, they, uh, this is the thing. They'd have, they'd have something that. fucking ahead of times linked up for it. I don't, I don't know if this is what's happening, but that's one way they could do I can see that everything's being done in a way to cause a global fucking collapse and different, uh, more, uh, cause a greater separation of wealth because then you keep people more distracted. And then like with this it's, whole it's, transgender it's and or whatever, if you want people to not have population, just convince them to willingly themselves destroy their reproductive abilities. So then you're not producing kids, it takes their genes out of the gene pool well, and they willingly did it. Right. It, well, to, to your point, I think... But I, I'm going to say I agree, agree with all uh, your points on that. But it's not deliberate whatsoever. That That is just the natural progression of capitalism. As things get... Uh, as, well, there gets a, a greater separation of wealth and all that. Yeah. Well, as, like as technology uh, make, uh, allows for profits, uh, profit margins yeah, to be increased. So, if you, so as you insti institute technology and profits sure. margin increase... It creates a uh, less, separation less of people. rich and poor, but that separation of rich and poor means that we're not able to spend money on the things that they produce, which actually reduces the profitability. So as we develop, it simultaneously, well, it yeah, that's. So I mean, just no people. Then they would well, have to do it. Okay, well, think, think, think about a minor amount. Think about this, guys. All right, so in China, they had the one-child policy. Everybody wanted boys, right? And now they're facing. A popular massive population issue because they have like a couple of generations of a bunch of dudes, no, no, girls. no girls. Girls are getting kidnapped just to like breed with just sons. Like as well, yeah. same thing is I happening in India because you have the dowry. So when they want to get right, so if you have a daughter, then you have to pay for all this shit. You have to give all this, Money all these resources to, to whoever. And so it, it's just economically, it's not feasible. Well, these are government. Well, not the dowry, but the, the China policy was. The dowry is so entrenched in the traditions of India that it's something people still do all the time. Anyway, also, it's free shit. Okay, what's wrong with being a trophy yeah. husband, though? So, listen, what, I, what I'm <laughs> saying, well, another wrong with being a trophy husband, the problem is that it makes you not want to have girls. And in addition to the, hey, buddy, in addition to all the, the uh, abortion, <laughs> stop it, man. You're making me, oh, never mind. Just keep doing it. doesn't matter. Days, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I want to tie this dude up, and we're going to torture him. So, in addition, I'm you're gonna pay for all of this, Jason. Just watch. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, dude. I'm going back to the kitty cat. My point is that government policy it's, it's not as organic. I, I I don't think it's as organic as you're saying, Will, because there's the government, which we'll say the elites that run the government, right? We can say that. 
Right, these are the okay, rich. Hold on, hold on. The, 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 the rich. You can say that. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, rich, the richest, most powerful, oh, influenced yeah. culture and society the most, and there are actual laws on the books that if you go, not immediately, but if you look down a couple of generations, it will lead to a population issue where we will have under like Elon Musk says that we actually have a we have two not enough yeah, people. Yeah, well, I know. Elon, Elon and, and, Musk hold on, is a and, 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 in this so co- in this country, he says. in this country. We have um, incentives to break up the family unit, which is another way to break That's that down and totally. over a thing, right? Because everyone knows that with, when you get Keynesian with economics, you start fucking with the laissez-faire effect of situations, then you're actually going to fuck stuff up later on. I mean, look, scarcity equals scarcity equals value. No, 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 no. First of all, inflation is not a, a measure of how much money is in the system. It's a measure of whether or not the money supply is growing faster than the GDP. So as long as the government, uh, as long as the economy is growing faster than the money supply you won't have inflation. What happened was uh, in 2008, they uh, not only printed the $800 billion uh, to bail us out, but there was also uh, uh, quantitative easing where they printed a trillion dollars a week for over a decade. So all of that money is now getting bought back, uh, brought back into the system um, at a rate that is higher than uh, GDP growth. So that's what the inflation is. Sorry. That's what I was saying. Well, okay, well, he's but doing that, what I'm what, what I'm saying is that if if you're you could say like yeah we we print cash we increase inflation whatever but it comes back to necessity you need value or else in the long term the money is it is meaningless you know what I mean you're just it's like, always meaningless all all just, value is meaningless it it's was, all arbitrary it wasn't no when it was gold back it wasn't well gold is a useful thing and you can trade money for and it's gold. hard to get and as soon as we trade it and it's not back then cash, it actually just is all cash is a, value. money is a representation of effort of work yeah of work it exactly which that, is why gold is hard to get it's you it's usable or whatever for whatever reason purposes, I personally do don't have any use for gold but there's uh, maybe but it is maybe very the, useful the, for the, lots of stuff. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? so, like, it was like you can't really useful until uh, electronics. Well, before, before that, that really, chips but we were obsessed with it before. And that's it probably the Anunnaki, right? Yeah. Maybe possibly the tenth planet is coming back, or is it the eleventh planet? Well, un- unlike paper money, you can't use it for anything. Yeah, you, know, you can't. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. like we went down and all monetary systems it burns for a up. long time. When you had gold, you would actually have something to barter. You know what I mean? But your money right. would be completely useless. But it was always it has just no actual use. It was always just for a gold good or goods. You know what I mean? Or if you had wheat or anything like that. It's like I raised it these chickens. It value, but they yeah, chickens. You made a bow and arrow. Because you we're gonna swamp. And yeah. we, instead of carrying around chickens or a bunch of bows and arrows, you know, money was made so it made it easier for the you know. But that's what I'm saying. System, but, but so what I'm, a universal. What I'm saying is that with no really chicken, useful. but with no chickens and no bows and arrows, it's not. It doesn't. It, there's no value. It's not it, as far as the the function of society. It doesn't help. You know, it's just like a it's a, a shell game. 
But it's always been that way. I mean, there there were some, uh, cultures that used our uh, rocks uh, for money. Uh, England, before the invention of the monetary, uh, the, the current monetary banking system, used to use tally sticks where you put the amount that you owed of an individual, you broke it in half, and that way you knew which two people uh, had the debt because it would only fit the same way. So. To all, money has always been arbitrary to say that gold or silver or anything else is inherently b better of a store of value right um, is is actually something that disempowers people because it puts the power of money making in the hands of people who have already monopolized the gold silver precious metals industry but what does have value is chickens yeah. right like that has value so how do we get back to chickens, guys? It's not possible. Well, it's not possible. Because well, we I mean, that, there's no... Because we can't chop up our chickens into little pieces to have this much. Because there's going to be so much value in one chicken. And that's why they made money. So we could dissect down what this value of this whole chicken is into parts. Or anything else that's in the parts. It's, it's represented in this money. I would say just, but that's why it made it so barter could be happened much easier along with diverse products. I mean, back, you know, back to our back to our original point. I would say that increasing inflation, you know, what we're to increasing it, right? like by devaluing money, but wages don't go up. You're creating more have-nots, which is oh, again absolutely. a separate. And again, that's another element, like the breaking absolutely. up of the nuclear family, that will also contribute to. To people not keep separation of power. Yeah, well, it, it's 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 again, it's like it's a, a there's multiple attacks to create more have-nots. That's, 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 that's the border crisis. That's the same deal where it's like let's bring over a bunch of have-nots, the and then they'll be on our side. They keep racism going when it when it's really poverty. Right? right, right, right. It's about poor people, well, but you keep the poor people saying that it's it's each other poor people because of the rich people. They're yeah. all different races. They're telling you that. And that's how, you know, divide and conquer. That's the same it's thing that Mao did in China, but they, they couldn't use race as well in China, so they mm -hmm. did, used economics. They said the poor against the middle class, middle class against the rich, rich against the poor, yeah. and everybody at each other's throats. And really, the government's manipulating who's what from the get. It's you the, know? They, that's why they'll keep steering this, this, this uh, racist, uh, racism shit. But ra like, racism, racism. racism's the easiest it, card just, to play in the yeah, United States. because we're so, But ironic, ironically... Racism is the easiest card to play in the United States because we are the most diverse, because we are the biggest mm -hmm. melt. I mean, we, you're going you to see more diversity. Not, Even in, in Las Vegas, dude, like I, I've always had the joke, like how can you be racist in Las Vegas? Good luck finding someone who's one of anything. Mm -hmm. You have to be an anthropologist. To, you know, I hate uh, one third of you. You know, what, you can't even do that. I hate it's two quarters, man. Yeah, it, is, it, it doesn't even make sense. I, like it, two it's, quarters. It's so I don't hate half of you, I hate two quarters. It didn't even make sense when <laughs> I was growing up in Mississippi. Like, it didn't I'm even have to press for this, ain't I? It didn't even make sense because it was so obvious. Oh, where's our shot? Here we are. Got a little uh -huh. thigh toe. I'm getting the, the pay, y'all. It's time to wrap up Freaky Friday here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, we're running out of time. Me and Penny Poison got a wedding to go to, and. I have to drop off a baby I goat. I call wedding. Like I told you guys, I have a baby goat named Baphomet. Uh, he might be here. She got to go watch that that chick get drunk and beat the shit out of her husband at the reception. Uh, <laughs> I only got two and a half. Can we? Uh, Probably not. But you already said it's going to be your speech, so you got to say it. Yeah. Say whatever, it. whatever we said about it. Do it. Here, it. Be the speech. Do it. So I think to, I think to wrap it up here. Wrap it up. We're gonna have bathrooms coming. You know, make sure you wrap it up. If you go, be safe. Wrap it up. Practice safe sex. Carry a pocket knife. All right, where, where's uh, Baphomet? <laughs> Let's have him play us out. Baphomet, where are you at? And yeah, dude, if we're gonna do this, Will Couch, you wanna come back for another Freaky Friday? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll try. I wanna get like I wanna get like fucking I wanna get Trez and Tino and. I'm gonna get these guys in here. Yeah, they they they'd be yes. way into this, I think. Oh, they'd be way. Yeah. You know, Once I, mean, I get the music stuff set up a little bit better, so it's like the right tone. Yeah, we can jam and stuff. That'll be fun, man. I'll bring my bass amp. See if it. Doesn't yeah, I'm gonna get some brushes too. See if it doesn't They're act lightly. like like when you toss a vampire a Bible. Mm -hmm. Brush sticks. Brush. Yeah. So we're gonna play a little bit of music. This has been our. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> This has been a Freaky Friday broadcast. It's been a lot of fun. Did I bring a jacket? Yeah.
know. I did. Bobby's going to be like... sad he missed this one. Yeah, we had a we had a good flow today. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot better. We're, we're starting to figure out. We're getting our footing a little bit here. Better footing. Where to where to put everything? We and have people just, can come in and out. We and have, I finally figured it out. I can just wander around the house with my my uh, so, attention deficit demons. We're gonna have to see how the the audio comes out as well. Because remember we had that weird echo when we all got in the room last time. But, yeah, but we'll that play with it. Hopefully, that's not been going on the whole time. And I've got this weird crack in my that's right over my uh, camera too. He's got a weird crack. It fucks up. It doesn't show up on camera. I'm trusting You're good. it does. There's you can but see some of the lighting. But we've got so much room for activities. I'm very excited. There. This place has turned into there. a really fun. What is a not weird right there. crack? What's a what's a good what's a normal crack? Well, a crack. A crack. I mean, you got a weird crack. It I'm saying it looks like weird. Because <laughs> This, this is not an is. argument I'm trying to have. I'm not having an argument. I'm just having a discussion to find out what a weird crack so what is that actually consists of. Why don't you go smoke some weird crack? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wonder what that See, would this, do. This was a, we've just, me and Penny have decided to make this into a shrine. So oh, hopefully weird. by next time we'll have up a lot of flowers and candles and whatnot. That's and cool. we're going to have some people yeah. in here worshiping it. A weird crack. See, she's worshiping in it. Meow, 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 Oh, you want to do it now? Yes, I told oh, you at the end of the podcast. Okay. okay. I'll save that fart until they're huffing really hard. Then. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get in? Uh, I'm not doing it. No, but I was just going to. No, I'm not going to do he it. He was just going to fart in you guys. You, will you do it? I was, no, I'm going to. I've I'm done gonna, it, and I'm I'm I don't gonna, feel like it. I, I'm going to produce it. I was too hungover I'm, I'm going to produce night, the farts. But I'm you guys do the breathing. It. I like it. When it comes to farts, I do the production. You guys do the breathing. Yes. That's how I like it. So that's what I was thinking. That's how I was going to stay here. I guess we could just use. Can we use yours? Yeah, we can. Well, that's uh, that's the this is the the Mac cam. Yeah. Well, that's not mine. All right. So this one's yours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You it's Get me mine. Where's mine? Let's see. Where's the yeah. spot for it? Yeah. This? That's what he picked up. He just picked up. This. I, that one isn't. I looked at the camera and it's not mine. I'm like, no, mine. that's yours is here. That one. But uh, that's the one that was on you. Okay. Now, here, where are we? Then, now Gotham's now got we'll two of back. two of They're our cameras. Yeah, yeah, slide around, around. Slide around. Moving the Mac around. There we are. We both get on camera right here. Yeah, there's a lot of lights behind you, but that kind of works actually. It's like you, you, you're in the celestial yes, sphere. The thing out of the way. I'm all right, do, so I'm do jumping jacks in the background. All right, so Gothens, explain how we're going to close out this episode of Freaky Friday. You and Will Couch are going to do some what? Put the camera on you and tell people what's we're up. We're going to do some connective breathing. You're talking in that camera. We're going to do some connective breathing. Will uh, get in that get in that picture. With where you. it's kind of like a it's a little bit of a mixture of like fire so breathing, holotropic. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we can both get in there. Here we go. Let's get old Bathy behind us there. Oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, breathing, uh, energy breathing. It's gonna be. Uh, <clears throat> this is what I do in the uh, steam room to basically release DMT in my brain, and uh, it's not like a full-on hit of DMT, but I don't know. This is something me and him are working on, uh, writing some more, rewriting the music to, or remixing it. But you don't this have is what we're going money. off of right now. You ready? Yeah. So if okay. you're broke, you don't have any money. This is how you can get free drugs. So you're going to have to switch to this camera. Okay. But we can get on those mats back there. All right, I'm going to have one of your names on one side and one of your names on the other side. So when you get in the camera, no, no, let me no. know. Leave it where it is. I had it set up. Oh, oh I yeah. have camera. Oh, yeah. okay. That's all right. All right, coming up, we have uh, this this breathing style popularized by Kundalini <laughs> Yoga, Wim Hof, Hicks and Gracie, and the Water People of Brunei. Uh -huh. And uh, don't people. don't forget Stanislav Brahm. Who? Stanislav Brock. Who's that? Uh, he helped develop holotropic breathing in the s late 60s, early 70s, after they cut off LSD funding. 
Okay. Yeah, so it's the same thing. It's essentially the, these, these two guys are going to try and have a psychedelic trip using only hypotropic breathing. And this is something that Gothens does all the time in the sauna at EOS and scares the shit out of regular people who are at the yeah, sauna sure at EOS. It scares the shit out of irregular people because I got scared. All right, so you guys, I think we can move a little closer. you guys on that camera. Closer. This light. There's a lot of lights behind this, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. You can sit anyway. Oh, there's one bathroom had to come in here and play something, but I guess it's never gonna happen. Again. I can play something. Uh, well, that was you know inside the song, but all right. Trying to get him to play more. Hey, and welcome to three rounds of energy breathing. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. It's crazy. Sit down or lay down and prepare for breathing. Let's begin. And breathe in. Out. In. Out. And breathe in. Out. In. Follow the rhythm. Activity three times, according to the studies they did on Wim Hof, who's uh, the Dutchman who put together this. It increases it, but by increasing your mitochondrial activity, it helps to burn through. You burn through toxins. Really, they hooked up him and some of his students in a laboratory. They monitor their levels, uh, and they inject them with an endotoxin, which would be. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, Mac, explain, what, uh, can you define endotoxin? They, they use it just to, it is like to replicate having a disease or something, right, in a laboratory setting? Uh, endotoxin? Endotoxin. That's just going to be, that's... Poison? I, I just see it, I don't, I okay, well, don't know exactly. Endo would be something internal. So it basically an intervening toxin. It's just toxin probably releasing toxins that are that are stored, well, it, bound it, in different things, and causing a release in your system. I would think the one the one that they used it gave them the symptoms of the flu. So it, okay. it uh, initiated an immune response. Something and, caused a release, and then your body attacks it, causing immune so response. So it's like giving you the flu in a laboratory setting to see yeah. how you react to it, right? Yeah. So what oh, they did was they they, they, they did okay. and they used this breathing. They use this breathing to, to incre they increase mitochondrial reaction, and it made their mitochondria basically burn up the endotoxin. They didn't get sick, and then the control group that did not do the breathing, they did get sick. Yeah. And here's the thing, is that Wim Hof did it, and they're like, oh, you're an outlier. You know, he's like, no, I can train people on these exact techniques. It's just breathing techniques. They say, all right, you have three weeks. He's like, I'll take, give me 10 days. And in 10 days, he, he trained a group of people to, to resist an endotoxin with that. But he also takes people hiking. He resists extreme cold. He ran a half marathon in the Gobi Desert after only two cups of coffee. He didn't like take water in between. He lost like 20 pounds of water, and then he was fine. He, he swam underwater after doing this breathing for like 200 yards because he missed the point and he had to yeah. swim back 50 yards. His, eye, his eyeballs had frozen. He couldn't see. And then they thawed out and then he could see again. And I was like, if anybody figures out that you can become essentially an X-Man by just breathing, they're going to... It's gonna all the power of his mind. Well, the it, breathing it, and it gets the mitochondria and all that and then it changes your body. Well, I learned that in um, different stuff, but for pain management, I learned the breathing techniques which show your Slowing your breathing below six breaths per minute activates the uh, um, semi, you know, the sympathetic nervous system or the parasympathetic nervous system, which is healing, and it causes different effects. So your breath and all these will cause different physiology to happen. That's why when when you're in pain and people are breathing out, they're like breathe slow because it changes your whole 
perception of the pain and everything, and your body responds to it different. So the breath does a giant amount. Um, but yeah. that's all with your focus and your mind and other things too, they're all in concert together. But yeah, and it starts with the breath is how he totally does it, to get all these two gains. You know, you get super high doing this. Yeah. Like, well, I've done it, so. Yeah, I, I have as well. I, I did just the basic technique, I didn't even practice, mm -hmm. and I was able to breathe out and hold my breath and not breathe for three minutes. Which if I just normally okay. practicing, I could do, you know, one minute. Yeah. But to be able to... Yeah, that was pushed in a little bit hard for me to do the... If you press it, it's hard, huh? Yeah. Good. Yeah, how are you guys doing over there? Are you I guys was, done? I was... Do it in the steam room. That's why I'm like... Oh, no, 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 I was doing it with the steam room. Yeah. After like five minutes, I'm like, I can hold every nerve in my arm and like tingle. You start to tingle, right? Yeah. It just buzzes. And you always think that that's a... Uh, God, this is and going off over here. And exhale fully. Hold your breath. And the technique basically is you inhale hard, like to where it hurts. You inhale like a yawn, like really hard. Oh, and then you don't breathe out. You let the air go out. So you keep half of a, half of a load of oxygen. And then you breathe in again and it pushes that in and you end up extra you know hyper oxygenating because your body ends up you force your body to absorb more oxygen than normally would when you're breathing and you do that in a, and it will push you into uh what when paul talks about is how he can actually manually go through and you know adjust things in his body and maybe you've experienced this on lsd where you go through diagnostics you know what I mean? You ever I just laid there? What about you, Mac? Took this. Um, this is in pain. Well, that type of diagnostic thing is part of Reiki too. Okay. Well, I learned this. It's called a body scan. When yeah. I was doing this um, mindfulness technique for pain management and stuff, I got from my pain Take management doctor. Breathing. That's actually some of the stuff that kind of helped turn on my brain chemistry at the one time. But oh. it, uh, you would go through and just focus on each part of your body and just recognize what it is doing and the sensation and not judge it. And then you could kind of go down and interpret things and, and change them differently and get some endorphin release to cover things up. But it was all about not judging and interpreting things as negative or positive, but this is there and you just go down. Um, yeah. And it, yeah, it was, it was like that, I said, it's a mindfulness technique. Yeah, that's basically what Wim Hof is talking about, where, yeah. you, you know, he's scanning he, it all. Or you talk about Taoism, where it's all about clearing your mind of all your needs, wants, and thoughts, and mm -hmm. then seeing what is actually stirring beneath the pond, right? Because yeah. the, the, the metaphor is... But all of that stuff also helps you connect with your intuitive psychic self. True. That's Same. the thing, is like... Well, that's Every, the point. Everybody it, has it. It's not like... You have to clear the surface of the water so you can connect with the psychic self, with whatever's going on beneath the surface, right? Yeah. That's the point. Quantum consciousness, whatever you want to call it. I was listening to this uh, guru on uh, Instagram. This is the guy with the turban. He's done, you've seen him. He's on the Rogan show as well. But he, was, he said that you you say, I am not the, the... The mantra as you go to sleep is, I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am not the body. I am not the mind. Breathe in. I am not the body. Breathe out. I am not the mind. Breathe in. I am not the body. Breathe out. I am not the mind. Well, because the thing is, if I you're am able not the to... body. I am not the mind. I am not the body. Ah. <laughs> I am not the mind. It's Freaky Friday, y'all. This is what we do. It's Matt Hoff. What's no? It's it's what's Matt? It's what is the drug master? What's the Wim Hof. Wim, Wim, Wim Hof. Hof. The bell, the devil. Wim Goth. Wim Goth. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you read uh, Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle? No. Oh, it's a good book. But it goes into, like, tell me a lot to be able to step back from the situation and, like, your behaviors and stuff and see, and so kind of look at things as a uh, observer instead of, you know, the participant. Then you can really break down why things happened and whatnot. You know, you're not you're not placing blame so much, but just sorting it out. Because that's like a problem in society too much, is finding who we can blame. But it's really not blaming, but just sorting out why it happened is what's important. Right. Being able to take a step back, look at things in third person. You ever been yeah. in, you ever been in the thralls of a stressful situation 
but then you realize that you heard about that happening to somebody else and maybe you laughed about it or you didn't stress out as much because yeah. it wasn't happening to you and then you say oh well I am not the body I am I'm not, not the, the mind. mind I am not the body I am not the body I am not the mind I am not the mind I am not the body I am not the prop comic I am, I am not, not a mime the mime Are you guys doing mushrooms at the wedding? We're gonna do mushrooms. We're gonna get there, then we're gonna eat some mushrooms, and we're gonna go to the wedding. Huh. That, you're, oh, that's why you guys are kicking us out. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to drop my, like I said, my baby goat off. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, and Satan's. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. I got to drop Baphomet off at uh, Satan's. Uh, ah, there are worse. Going back to there Satan. are worse things to be called. Um, Facts. I love Satan, so that's the wrong word altogether. Yeah, I know. It's like, that would be your first Satan's. All right. Oh, there's Will. We thought you Irish goodbye to oh, We're all humming. Where's your whistle? Your oh, I left it all. Oh, he has this thing we were whistling through the other day. It's actually uh, that fume thing. Uh, that was advertised on the Joe Rogan podcast. It's very similar to oh, like the the ink and death whistle. Yeah, but no, but uh, that's very similar to necklaces that they that they're selling for meditation. But oh. because you can put the menthol filter in there, it cools the air as oh. you're doing the meditation. And anything that's cooling like that does have a psychosomatic effect of. Um, uh, like lowering your anxiety level. Uh, 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 nice chill, Andy. We're trying to get in the shrooms uh, mode and get everybody in there. Uh, 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 this whole time, I never know what camera he has it on. I'm. So, I've been. It's been on you. Okay. Because you know, yeah, I, I pay attention. And then the whole time it wasn't I on pay me. attention to things sometimes. I watch out. You gotta watch out for paying attention. I should All right, watch maybe out. we can get Baphomet to play us off. All right. But oh it, it's interesting because if you look at all the different cultures, they're the name of God. So, for example, it's uh, Yahweh in Hebrew, right? But that's a breath. Hey, Grace, can you turn that down a little bit? In, uh, in Baha'i faith, it's uh, uh, Abha. Thank you. In Hinduism, you have the Om. You know, so all of those names of God, they're actually meditations. They're actually right. vibrations. We found Baphomet. We found him. There Did he you is. Get that? That's interesting. Because I, mean, I want that footage for sure. Uh, I'm raising a little bit of Baphomet. Come oh yeah, that, that was on. on the right setting. It was on your camera the whole time. Okay, what setting? What synth or strings? Synth. Yeah, probably synth. I have to reassemble myself here. That sounds good. Well, that's what I usually use, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a good experiment in the production too. It's just we have Sorry all these things. Sorry, I'm talking over you. No, that's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> can move all these cameras. Oh, that's. We can go all through the house. We can go around the side of the house and pick up audio with the phones. What? What? Oh, have you seen those small microphones that you can plug into your phone? Like thirty-five bucks. It's like that big and. It yeah. Can... I, I, I don't know, I, I guess uh, the phones the do pick up a signal, but maybe we should, because, well, it just goes into the phone, and so the signal of the phone apparently gets broadcast back to this. Well, it's not, I'm not talking, the microphone would just improve the clarity of the, the recording. Talk. 
Is that Bluetooth yeah. mic that goes to? Well, you I can really have a Bluetooth lapel yeah, like it, or you plug it into the phone. I really it looks hope. Like, it looks like a small version of that. Just go through your hand. I really hope we don't have that echo like we did last time when we came in. I'm worried about that. I hope, I hope not. I wonder, um, do you have like Adobe Audition? Because I know there's a way you can go through there and isolate the sound and then reduce the noise and it would take it out. Yeah. yeah. This is, I hope so. I've done that when I was doing like this, when I was doing uh, my audio book. So I was going back and trying to edit out sound. So that's the one where you do a blank sound and you do another, and then it'll pick up what is in there if there was that certain hum, and then it can isolate it and just get that going. Like yeah, I think he has some of those programs. You might be able to help him do it. Hey, Baphomet's back. It's the Baphomet. Baphomet. All right, let's get the Baphomet cam. You gonna play us off? Hell yeah, bro. Alright, it's on you. Thank you. The Bathmat! Bathmat has been in the bathroom this whole time as the Bathmat. He's been on the floor. Laying down. I know. I feel completely kind of isolated back in Colorado. I didn't realize that I had so many people, you know? Alright, well, that will wrap it up. This Freaky Friday Wrap edition it up. I could show uh, you the Paprika show. Once again, we have Will Couch, Max Steve, as always, David Hollywood Hewlett, Hollywood, Pity Poison, and Gothens. Y'all stay dark now. Play us off, Baphomet. 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 <laughs> Perfect. This is perfect. The opposite how you want to do it. Well, not the opposite. I want to do it like this, but I also want to do the straight interview thing. Oh, yeah, so yeah. now I got straight interview stuff. You got we got this stuff. You get to stretch your creative legs, as do I, and we can uh, we, we can get as fucking weird as we want here. I love it. I know. Excellent. Good and stuff. I'm like oh, yeah, learning more about the lighting and shit. Yeah. We'll get it right. As we go, we'll see what we need. Hey, like this, this would be better if this. This is what we've been needing to do. I'll be around we've, a little we've bit more. Hit a, we've hit a, uh, a rhythm or something. You know yeah, what I mean? Script. Now it's like, oh, dude, I love this shit. This and is then fucking I got a split because um, Perfect. Bill. Freaky Fridays. It doesn't matter who we got, but we can start getting... Yeah, like... Where we pay? My bad, Pats. That's another comment. Well, the one I had, I asked two of them. One was like about, I wanted to get another one that goes into changing the book, like a, you know, a novel or a book into a screenplay, because that's what we're doing. The other one I have is, it's called Final Draft.